two. Hey, it's friend me. We're back. We're back. I get to kill you today. Why? Oh, okay. ten ways oh, to good. kill you. Should I just throughout the episode trying to find ways to kill you? Like, see that light fall on your head, strangle you with the microphone cord. This isn't final destination. <laughs> it's like we're just doing an Adams family. Show. I'm always thinking about ways to die. To kill me. I was on that show, A Thousand Ways to Die, on Spike TV like four times. Do you oh, remember really? that show? And yet you're still my, here. My, I was talking about breast implants and how they like explode on the in, on airplanes. Oh, what is that show? It's just weird ways people die. I think it's fake, yeah. And so you're thinking, you're always thinking of ways to die. Um, I didn't. Oh, me? Yeah, I always think. I always think like right now I could see like that pole falling all over, hitting your head, the light hitting your head, the computer slamming on oh. your thing, like the cord oh. strangling you, like choking on water. The like, cord just magically starts strangling. Yeah, something me? goes in flames. Like no, I mean, it, there's so many things that could happen really? here. So I always think about that. So. <laughs> Maybe today I'll. You're like a special ops. You're like a bodyguard. You just assess in all the risks. <laughs> I do. I'm so paranoid. Today I almost got attacked in our car here. Today's episode is sponsored <laughs> by Upstart and Quip. You got what? Well, you got swamped. My makeup artist swamped. also cam- yeah. canceled on me today, so I had to go to CVS and get all this makeup because I literally don't own makeup. And I have skincare coming out today, but my skin is peeling because I got a facial on Saturday. So if you guys know anything about facial, it's peeling. awkward. <laughs> so- I like my skin, but like it is better. It's just like I, this peeling today, but it is launching. I today, thought whatever. you walked in. I thought your makeup looked good. I really did. Oh, God, I feel so bad. And then we were at Starbucks, and literally, not joking, most contestants. I think the school came out of, of session or something. There was literally like twenty kids surrounding. I was trying to take video, and they're like knocking on the window. I'm on Facetime with my mom. I'm like, can you not? And then they're like taking picture. I felt like such an. I felt like an animal. It was not cool. I was not having a good day today. So hard being famous. Ah, uh, no, it's, a, you know, I usually like it, but in your car, that's so scary. You don't know what it's like to be like. I'd rather be in my car than outside with the vultures. Not me. I'm like, okay, I'll say hi, but I'm on people are hype. People are more hyped to see you, to be honest. Um, People get real true. excited when they see you. And I usually get really excited to see people, but in my car, I'm just like, I feel so, and I, my skin was, I was just like, and it's gloomy, it's raining today. It's just it's like a, and then I'm in a costume that, I don't even know what this is. Like, I can't even like cosplay because I don't know what it is. You're the Adam Sandler. You're Debbie from Adam Sandler. This was your idea. <laughs> from Adam Sandler? Or Adam's family. <laughs> this um, was your idea. I'm it, Uncle Fester. Oh my God. This is so your idea. What? what I don't have ideas. About? Okay, well, hold on. Just so people and know, you're like, We're Adam. Do this. Fact check that. Hold on. No Uncle Fester and Debbie. Either. Well, hold on. Does anyone remember? Because I don't have ideas. These you, are your ideas. You got it. Read it and you're like, we're gonna do this, and I'm like, I don't like. I'm. This is definitely not my idea. You told me my you idea, didn't like it. My idea would be Maui and Moana. My idea would be Sharpay and Ryan from High School Musical. I have so. I've never once picked our costumes. Never once. What? Never once. You can oh, back check into the thing. Never once. You have never costume. once picked our. Never outfit. once. Okay, show this. Thing. I don't want to be the girl in the movies. I want to be the boy too. Like I want to be able to be like. Okay, well, this is us anyway. This is Uncle Fester and Debbie. She's like the Black Widow serial killer that killed yes. all of her husbands. Mm-hmm. And you, you're, you're crushing it. So I don't know why you're out here making all these. I didn't excuses. even know this movie. How would I even come up with this? I didn't. This even was know this literally character. your idea. We need to pause for real because I will, I will find it right now. You sent this and another one back to back, and I was like, because you find it off Reddit and you send it, and I'm like, I don't know who these characters are, but I okay, guess. Okay, you know what? You're right. You're right. I think it was a Reddit post. People were like, you I know it was because I've never seen this movie. How would I know? Okay, well, you look great. What's the problem? Because what I just you? don't feel cute. I'm just like, I, like, what is this character? What am I supposed to do with this all day? I can't Why are you eat. complaining about it now? We've <laughs> spent like all this time planning it. Because I was always like. Why are you kind of sitting here now that we're doing it and complain? <laughs> just own it. I was trying to be a people pleaser. And then I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah now, let's do it. Well, and what about, well, you're cutting short of being okay, the people pleaser. Monday, you dropped 19th. the ball at the most important part of pleasing the people. Monday, April 19th, Ethan goes, I already admit idea? it was me. So you gaslight. Why is everyone gaslighting me and making me think I I admit it was me. I said you were right. I remembered. There was a Reddit post. Anyways, the okay, gas I'm happy is to be clear. here. I'll, let me restart. Let's so blow happy. the gas away. I can't. No gaslighting. <laughs> okay. No lights. No gas. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy to be here, but you but just you obviously good. kill it. I want to be the one that gets to kill it on costume. I want to be the one that gets makeup and hair and all this stuff like that. I have to just be this random, like, nobody knows who this person is. Everybody knows Debbie the Black Widow. <laughs> yeah, that's a real famous character. I can't can't find one TikTok you with give her me, You give me one idea, and we'll do whatever you I want. I want to be Maui, and you be Moana. No, no, next. I'm kidding. We can do that. I was just kidding. I want to be Sharpay and you be Ryan from High School Musical. Who's and we can that? sing Don't Bop care. to the Top. Next. Bop, 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 bop to the Top. And can then- I be George Washington and you be Hamilton? I don't really like Hamilton though. I would love. I'd rather be. Sorry. I want to. You I don't like Ham. Oh, you don't want to be. I want to be Hamilton. Burr, and you be Hamilton. But George Washington's cool. Nobody knows George Washington. Uh, in the show. Sorry, George <laughs> no, Washington. Not. First of all, in the historical context, you're wrong. And in the show, okay. George Washington's a main character. So whatever. I don't really like him in the show. 
I saw the original Freak. cast. I didn't really like him in the show, but. All right, let's he move dies. on. So Anyways. Yeah, he dies of old age. Jesus, it's not like a big deal. <laughs> True. It's not like a loser. Well, they died of young age back then. They were dying yeah, and like he 40. made it. He did, did it he? all. Did he die? Of old age. How yeah. old was he, though? How old was he? I don't know. People died, but like probably in 70 or something. Okay, I'm down for a Hamilton cosplay for sure. But no, that's my idea. You give me the idea because we'll I show up there in Hamilton. I just said I want to be Maui I don't wanna, and Moana. Okay, Maui, Maui and but Moana. I'm, I'm Maui and you're Moana. Okay, whatever. Fine. I'm you so could be Maui. Excited. Whatever that do you, have you seen Moana? Yeah. I didn't like it that much. I think Can we, That's the fun part. That's like the fun movie of Disney. Movie? I'm just having a rough go of it today. I'm telling you, my period, my skin, everything. Oh. Can I talk about my skincare real quick? And then we'll just get out of the way. <clears throat> Trishskin.com. Love that domain. <laughs> it's good. I, I have a bunch of domains for this, but Trishkin.com. Um, do you have more domains? Like which other ones? Yeah. Uh, there's Petus Miracle Elixir, Trish That's Miracle Elixir. One. Yeah, they're kind of long, but Trishkin was a I good like one. I like Miracle Elixir though. Well, Miracle Elixir is the name of my product. It's you based on like a traveling potion. Yeah, it's salesman. from Sweeney Todd. So I did a music video for this. That's coming out Friday. Is it? What do you were you gonna say? I referenced it earlier, and you were like, "What are you talking about? What? When? The sweet, I said, uh, "What's his name? Per, Peroni? Pirelli or, Miracle Pirelli Elixir. Mar- Wait, when did you say that? Uh, just a few minutes. Okay, ago. come on, plug your anyway, plug sorry. your shit. Really? No, I feel that's crazy. You knew that. Yeah. So this is what you get. The packaging's amazing. This is all manufactured, produced, and formulated here in LA. Um, it's made fresh. So once you order it, it's like made the things are ready to go. But nice, yeah. Nice package. We got foam. Yeah, we, we got, got the cleanser. We got day cream, night cream, serum. You guys, this actually like works. So obviously for the record, I feel like people nice box. I feel like I don't need to say this, but a lot of people are like confused. They're like, why would we buy skincare from Trish? It's obviously I'm in collaboration. I'm like the face with um glow skin enhancement. That's the people who made it, Charlotte. Well, Wilson. you found you were using a hair care or a face care system and it really worked. Yeah, I this saw is, that. This the is proof the is in the pudding. Yeah, this is the products I've been if using. If your skin is pudding. Yeah, and so honestly, she could have been like, oh, be an affiliate, like, you know, whatever, but she hadn't, like, packaged it yet, so she's like, do you want to, like, be the face of this? So What's obviously... Uh, at 50 50. We're 50 50. Oh, that's great. Yeah, she's really good. And nice. I, and anyways, I don't know why I said that, but, but she's really, <laughs> she's really good. Um, it's, you know, female owned small business. She, but she's been around for a while. Glow Skin Enhancement, Charlotte Wilson. I use this stuff. Like it helps all skin. It really does help all skin problems. I found her through my makeup artist because I had really horrible, like, skin. I'm a makeup artist. Trisha so Lixer, miracles.net. Trishkin.com. I have a oh. commercial out now. Trish, wait, what is it? One more time. Trishkin. Trishkin. Dot uh, com. Oh, you want to see Trish my commercial skin. real quick? Trish, wait, Trish Skin? Trishskin.com. That's a really good domain. Thank Trish you. Skin. Wait, can I, can you show Trish can you go show, can you show my commercial real quick? Where, I have it's a like commercial? a minute long. It's a minute long. It's Where's on my the, YouTube page. Oh, it's, sure. I just posted it today because we did a whole like this. I'm really proud of this commercial too. Okay. So a lot of people were like, Did oh, you spend a million dollars on the commercial so you can never possibly make any money <laughs> from the? Because <laughs> I believe in it. I just like to make it's quality It's so funny. Things. I love that. I love your business. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a good thumbnail. Let's go. Okay. I'm proud of that. All right, everyone. Okay. Get ready. Paytas, oh my God. It looks like a lifetime moment. A lifetime movie. Like a lifetime movie oh, about like, like <laughs> I've overcome all the problems. Or maybe it's like save my donate to save my dog. No, it's not. There, my dog is in this though. He's in this. Commercial. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hi, hi, I'm Trisha Paytas, <laughs> and you may know me as the internet sensation from such videos. It's too at- quiet. I don't want to miss a word. Okay, sorry. sorry. I'm looking at you, Dan. <laughs> My ugly pizza face and help my acne boost skin makes me <laughs> yeah. ugly enough. But acne wasn't the only thing holding me back in life. Well, actually it was. I'm 33 and I've struggled with acne. Acne was the only thing holding you back in your life? Yeah, and now I'm clear. Oh, now I got dry skin holding oh, me bro. back, but that's because I'm a facial. Oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't ask me for the list of everything else holding you back. <laughs> Nothing! This is it! I really got cleared once I cleared my skin. My soul, my energy, and my chakras were cleared. Mm. <laughs> me my entire life. Be it my awful diet, stress, or just oily bad luck, Ew. I couldn't get it under control <laughs> until I found my seven-piece miracle, Peta Miracle Elixir, in partnership with Charlotte Wilson, founder and CEO of Glow Skin We love you, Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte. We the found best. the miracle combination to work on any skin type. Over the past year, we have... Oh, Trish is in the lab <laughs> making, like, custard. What are you baking a pie there? <laughs> it was cleanser. <laughs> Trish is in the laboratory. She, <laughs> she got does- the... <laughs> She does. We we obviously threw that batch away because I was contaminated. But she does make everything. Oh, in you LA. threw that away. We're trying to show what we're doing in LA. Like we're just that it's manufactured. Wait, why'd here. you throw it away? Because now it's contaminated because it's in air. You know, it's open air. So for anyone being like, oh, like it was just for like the visual that we make. Oh, here. Which you we, didn't bottle that shit, huh? I, no. Hmm. There's kids in Africa that could have. E- they eat literally that. can't eat that. You cannot <laughs> yeah, eat the skin product. I can't believe you've thrown that out. There's kids in Africa that have acne. Oh my God. <laughs> they could have used that. <laughs> Formula to help with all hormonal skin conditions. Guaranteed to leave you feeling moisturized without the grease. This is great. And controlled without the dryness. 
Just flawless, hydrated, healthy skin. Pay this. I'm ready to run this her. on like Fox News at 2 a.m. <laughs> we got 30 second <laughs> clips of it, so it's almost done. We got a little less. Has clips. changed my life. Whether I'm filming on my kitchen floor or shooting a music video, I I'm no longer that. worry about my skin. This is it amazing. really feels too good to be true, but it isn't. It doesn't leave any harsh effects on my skin, and I feel confident with no makeup. <laughs> I want everyone to try this because everyone deserves that confidence that comes from. This is it. really long, Trish. No, it's not. It's almost done. There's 55 <laughs> seconds left. Okay, it's almost done. done. So Here comes the good part. This isn't like the Trisha has health skincare episode. <laughs> we do Teddy Fresh every single episode. But I'm so fast. Every I go. Week. I go. Okay, Teddy Fresh. Blah blah blah. We're done. But this is also Trisha's like I made a whole cinematic universe <laughs> around my skincare. <laughs> I look to forward to show. my skincare routine every morning and night. This is your self love. Oh, in the bottle why of the was that sexual? <laughs> what? Look at you're like oh, like, no, it's like a, it was like a money shot. Watch you're this. You're making so this. No, look at this. This is a money shot moment. I look forward to my skincare routine every Watch morning and night. Watch how she squirts night. this shit. This is your self love. Oh, yeah. Because it looks good. It's like Fuck yeah. pretty. It's gonna go on my skin. Hell yeah. I didn't know this was rated R. Oh my God. Rated <laughs> NC seventeen. Look at this. This is your self love in a bottle. The facial massage. So do this for you. No, that's what you put on your face. People be like Trish. You're glowing recently. <laughs> and this is the secret. I'm so happy to finally be Also kind of phallic. What? You say, Trish, what's the secret? And then you show like and a foul. It looks like a cock. What? Balls and cock. What are you talking about? Look, two balls and a cock. It's like a giant phallus. Oh my phallus. God. This it's is the, the products in the Bro, thing. it's literally a penis. <laughs> You are so, so and childish. This is the secret, Look at actually. that. That is literally like, Stop. I can't believe you oh did that. God. After the money shot too. <laughs> Look it's at it. Not, it has nothing to do with genitalia. It's so much like a penis, oh my though. God. Let's just keep going. Oh, dude. This is so uh, this is so inappropriate. Secret. Oh my god. I'm so happy to finally be sharing it with everyone. No more hiding behind filters or Photoshop. You don't need it. Bring the miracle home at Trishkin.com. Get it right, get it tight, and get it the Trish way. Okay, I have to call you out. What? You said you don't need to hide behind filters, but you definitely oh, photoshopped All the this comments video. were calling it out. So we did put a filter to make it glow, but my skin was really good on the shoot. But, but, and I Bruh. agree, maybe we should have like heavily filtered it, but, <laughs> but I can show you my skin right now. Like I could take no, all you have my nice makeup. Skin. No, you, I, I vouch for it. I yeah. vouch for you. I just think it's funny that you said that line and your face looks like, like heavenly. Well, everyone angelic. called me out on that, but how can I say the comments? But your skin on that. is nice. I vouch for that. And everyone can say that the ingredients are good. Like estheticians are commenting on my thing and being like, oh shit, like the ingredients are actually good. Cause a lot of people get canceled for like making like, like not. Rat you know, poison. Yeah. Right. So yeah. The, the, everyone's like, huh? <laughs> What? Who was it that made mold uh, makeup? Oh, yeah, you YouTuber who had mold in her shit. Was it Austin McBroom's wife? No, it was someone else. Because I know Austin McBroom's wife just got canceled for skincare. Like, this is like someone who does this for a living, and I just like use it in like a no, 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 no. I, I think it's just ironic that you said that yeah, while using I a agree. filter. That being said, I do vouch for the product because I've seen it look for you. So I don't, know. Don't, don't get it twisted, sister. Well, I showed it on my TikTok too, like my face without makeup. I'll do it next time. I'll come Is there face. jizz in your makeup? If I had a makeup wipe, I'd take is my makeup off. Is there semen in your makeup? Huh? What? Is there semen in your makeup? No. Because there's this really sub non, there's like really overt tones of penises I'm and get, jizz. Stop. I'm going to get the commercial that's not <laughs> filtered because honestly it looked really bomb. Yeah, yeah, so you it does should. Suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll get it. Okay. I'm living proof. Your skin can clear up no matter the issue. Miracles happen at trishskin.com. What are you waiting for? Don't go one more day feeling insecure about your skin. Life is Sell too it, short. Girl. Let my miracle elixir <laughs> do the work too. so you don't have to. Congrats. Yay! Congratulations. Yeah. I'm, pr I'm happy for you. I hope it does really well. I And I think it's a good product based on how I've seen it. It's a good, so. like, you know what? I wouldn't put it out because I know people, if you have a shit product, everyone's going to talk about it. They're going to put it on TikTok. Oh, on yeah. YouTube, people you know are what I mean? Yeah. Like, they'll, they are so quick to cancel. So I was like, really, I really. All right. You better pray this girl knows what she's doing. No, 100%. I've used this. No my, mold my, or <laughs> weird balls and shit. No, my <laughs> makeup artist, user, I use her. Like, she's really good. It just sucks that my skin's like peeling today. But if I have a makeup wipe, I would take it off right now because my skin would be bomb. But yeah, trishkin.com. You guys want to check it out? It was, you know, it's that. So, congrats. Thanks. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Teddy Fresh for tw two hours. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we talk about it for about two hours every time you mention it. It's like I'm every just episode. Just kidding. Congratulations. It was Jacqueline Hill, by the way. I just yeah, Jacqueline Hill. What happened with her? She sold like lipstick that are like oh. mold and shit. Yeah, but we're like, Team Jacqueline now. We are. Yeah, I remember oh. I was like kind of, uh, but now I'm Team Jacqueline, Jacqueline. I guess apparently. I mean, whatever you say, you just <laughs> tell me who to hate and who to like. <laughs> 
We no, just, but, I, no, I hate anybody. Actually, I'm really hateful today, so I need to like rein in the positivity because I have a lot of hate in my heart right now, and I need to like let for it go. Gabby, I think just in general, I've been feeling really negative. Like when those people were around my car, I just was feeling negative. I felt negative. I got you. You're like, you know? you know, give me some space, you little fucking pieces of shit. Well, it's also because I. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But I also like when I don't get my I'm makeup, a human being. <laughs> when I don't have to, when I have to do my own makeup, I also feel really ugly. So I just feel like with my skin peeling, my own makeup, I just don't feel myself. Like I usually look at the monitor and like stare at myself and I just don't you feel look like good. looking at myself. No, nah, you look good. You're tripping. Well, you're just saying that. You think like anyone looks good. You're just like, oh yeah, you could say like Alfredo looks good. You know what Alfredo I mean? Alfredo does look good. <laughs> why are you insulting Alfredo? <laughs> yeah. Well, why would you say Alfredo? Okay. Sorry. I don't know where you want. I do love Alfredo. All right. All right, so Anyways. anyway, I mentioned the name of the person who's we finally ready to talk about Gabby Hanna today. Okay, yeah. Gonna unload One, on her. No, not unload, but I think it just needs to be addressed because, like, literally no one in her life is, like, telling her to stop. And I just Do we think like, our sponsors? Oh, shh. Oh, sorry. We did? What? Upstart and Quip. We mentioned Upstart and Quip. Our two sponsors, Upstart when did and you say Quip. That? Just now. I don't remember if I said it or not. I don't not. think you did. I don't really? think I did either. And okay, well, I'm starting with. We were just not listening to Dan today because I didn't hear Trisha him. Skin dot, dot gov. <laughs> Trishaskin.gov. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So, should uh, we talk about this or should we? Because I've got a, a lot of other stuff I was going to build up to this. Uh, yeah, whatever. I mean, it's 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 honestly. Wait, what about I, the. Maybe uh, you guys should um, uh, set up the sketch real quick. Okay. We oh, yeah, we're going to act. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing a scene from the. Adam's Family. Values. It's a sequel. Adam's Family Values. It's awful. Oh, stop it. <laughs> and I am playing Uncle Fester, who's wedded the beautiful Debbie. Mm -hmm. Little does he know, Debbie is a serial killer known as the Black Widow that murders her husbands for their wealth. Don't spoil it. Well, you need some context. For oh, right. Sake. Okay, yeah, yeah. They did tell you. <laughs> Don't spoil what, a 30-year-old movie? <laughs> Played by Joan Cusack and Christopher Lloyd. You actually just look normal. When I saw you, I wasn't like, wow. I was just like, it kind of look normal. That looks like you. This looks like you. Thank you. But you're also skinnier than the last time you played Uncle Fester. So I, that's why it threw me off. I was like, wait, that looks like nor narrow. Like you're very tiny now. Really? You think I look I, narrow? Tiny. Well, anyway, let's go do the scene and okay. we can come back. All right. Ethan sits alone at the dining table waiting for Trisha. Happy anniversary, Debbie. House explodes, goes up in flames. Help, help. Ethan emerges from flames with platter. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, here I come out of the flames. Sweetheart, did you get the champagne? Freeze. Trisha pulls out a gun, points at Ethan. Freeze. Pookie? Accident. I'm trying to give you some. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Oh, I thought there was. Was there a. Oh, here, yeah, take the mic. <laughs> I tried to make it look like an accident. I tried to give you some dignity, but oh no, not you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Do it. Do That's it. my line. Okay, okay. I'm not doing it again. What are you saying? I want you dead and I want your money. But, but, don't you love me? Trisha. <laughs> Evil laughs. Oh, sorry. Oh, what? It was Moses. Like, oh, Moses. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a no? <laughs> oh, do I love you? Look at yourself. You're the missing link. You shouldn't be married. You should be studied. You're a big, dumb, weird thing. No woman in her right mind could love you. Trisha gets hit by a car. <laughs> And then Ethan gets rescued, by, or not Ethan, Uncle Fester gets rescued by Thing. And he says, Thing? And <laughs> Thing. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> One take. Oh, uh, one other thing. Welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Cinematic <laughs> that masterpiece. So Oscar goes to... Trish. Trisha. I mean, I feel like if we did my cosplays, like I'll act like my ass off. You know what I mean? Like I'll really... Just tell <gasps> me what you Fight want. Club. Moa, 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 whatever his name here, we I want did, to meet uh, Brad Pitt. Oh, it was you were at. Um, I think of his name from the movie. What's his name? In Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden. You were right. at. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You were at uh, Theodore's birthday party. Yes, that was. You guys fun. came with some fire gifts too. Yeah, we did. Well, cause like I picked out gifts, and then Moses picked out gifts. So what were you like? And I was kind of worried because at first, like Theodore really was pulling for Moses's gift. He was like loving that water can, and I was like, oh no, he doesn't like mine because I went with the clothing, which is not good for a two year old. But the boots. He did come with the boots. I like, kept them on, and then he loves the. You guys, you want to take the boots off? He's like, no, and I was like, ah, yes. 
She got him uh, Lightning McQueen from Cars, right? Yeah. Uh, rain boots. He has these yellow boots that he loves to stomp around in. So that was a great one. That's why I saw those yeah. yellow boots and I was like, mm. So I saw a picture you guys sent her in the group chat and it was him like wearing the boots with the gardening gloves. It was so cute. Oh, do I have that photo? You guys just do that just to show people like, oh, look, he's wearing it. No, 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 no. He really? was wearing it. He was rocking it. I know people. I would do that. I'd be like, oh. I look. saw that photo. I was like, oh, it's so funny. It was so Did Ela post cute. it? Maybe I don't think not. she. I think it was in the group chat. No, um, whatever. Yeah, but it was really cute. Yeah, it was a fun day. Yeah. I oh, look fat I, in the photo, but that's fine. I'm, I was just happy to be a part of the, the group. In you the want group. me to remove it? No, no, no it? I was really excited. You want me to erase my no. special memory? Because <laughs> that was the day I was going off on BuzzFeed, so everyone thought I was in a bad place. So I like that it was shown that I was in a happy place because I was with you guys. So, it, you know, was, I have a fat face. It's like a up angle, but whatever. It's fine. I was happy. I was happy. I was included. And then the other thing, we're going to be start doing a new segment on the show, Frenemies Advice Corner. Or maybe it should be like Dr. Ethan and Dr. Ethan and uh, Psychic Trish. Or psychic. Like, well, I don't know. Like, who's these people that maybe give psycho? Psycho. I do. Did you know schizophrenia is a psycho disorder? There's like borderlines a personality disorder, and schizophrenia is like a psychotic disorder, right? It's I think it's psychotic. So I'm with you there. I think it's a psychotic disorder. So I have both, which is crazy. So Most you are. Don't. So Trisha the psycho, and Ethan the yeah psychic psychologist. Well, you're not. A I don't know if I qualify for that. Maybe you're like just a. You're a college graduate. We just. Oh, I Ethan, the college yeah. graduate. Yeah, mm. that's more cred than me. I know a lot of people that graduate from college are dumb as hell. Well, I never graduated from college, and I'm smart as hell. So. Well, we need credentials to give people advice. So. You're a college graduate. You have a bachelor's. And what's yours? That you're psychotic. I have mental disorders too. Okay. I have a psychological one. So it's one like, don't and... listen to us, which is good. <laughs> Disclaimer. Yeah. Okay, so the an psycho expert. and the psycho and the uh, the uh, bachelor of arts, <laughs> bachelor of arts, <laughs> as little qualification as you could possibly have. So, um, <laughs> if you guys want advice for anything, you can email us at frenemiesadvice at gmail .com. We got some new, some a couple in here that I thought maybe would be interesting to get your take We're on. We're gonna do it on the top of the show. Right now, right I feel here. Like it's kind of the end of the show. Like, we need to talk about news. Like, Drake Bell getting arrested. Why not James Charles? The Logan Paul fight. Like, whatever else we want to talk just about. Like, short. this is just like. You want to move it? I, I mean, I already so. set it up, though. Let's just move it to the end. Because I don't know if this is the most important thing we need to talk about today. I was prepared today. to talk. Yeah. I, was, I was mentally preparing to talk about triggers. So. All right. I, 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 won't, I won't fuck your. Uh... Your shit up. Yeah, today we've got a special treat because Trish has come in. She usually doesn't want to talk about Gabby Hanna, understandably. Because she's but upset. today. Because when you feed, like, stalker people, like, or obsessive yeah. people, I should say, like, this kind of, like, attention, that's what they live for. Like, this girl so wants it. to be connected to me, and now it's giving her. She's going to be the Yolanda to my Selena. I feel it one day. It's not going to be a good thing. what does that mean? Did you ever see the movie Death of a Cheerleader? Peter Mon, I'm giving him credit for this and the mm -hmm. thing, but there was a movie with Tori Spelling and there was a girl that ended up, it was based on a true story. She's like, why won't you be my friend? And then she like stabbed her to death. Oh, like, you think Gabby's going to stab you? I'm not saying this lightly, but like it really is scary. Like the obsession, like the then the little lies that she says to be like, we were friends, we were friends. And I'm like, it's just scary because I don't know what I did to her other than like, I didn't want to be her friend. Like, and I was nice to her. My like, theory just, is that she... I think she's like a super fan of yours and she like Yeah, well that's for sure. Yeah. That's and I was nice to her and then like obviously when she told Jason that I had herpes, I stopped I, I still was nice to her, but I was like distancing myself. But she swore to me that we like hung out, we had like Thanksgiving plans, we shared poetry together, and then she like told me the next day after the podcast, like Girl, I know you happen. never wrote a poem and sent it to Gabby. Never. I never and that's why even now she's like, I'm doing a twelve part series exposing her. I'm like, I've never she's told doing her a once. Twelve part her. series about you specifically. Yeah, literally. You should just stab her and get it over with Gabby. <laughs> oh, seriously. I I get scared. I mean, I, I mean, get scared. Right. Let's just let's just cut to the chase. Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe if she stabbed me and I don't die, you know, and then that mm -hmm. way she can be locked away. Because mm -hmm. she is scary. Like, and and I think she knows this. Like her delusions are real. She was like, she she was like harassing a 12-year-old like recently for his information because she thought it was a grown adult harassing her. And she's like, give me your information, give me this. And the 12-year-old's like, oh, okay. But he was, it was like a, and then she goes, Oh, I was wrong. She like admits that she's delusional and no one's getting her help. Supposedly she has a boyfriend and all these friends, and it's like, well, no. So that's the only reason I'm saying this is like seriously. Obviously, she needs help, like point blank period. Like there's just, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say, it's, but it is scary. I went on her podcast this year because I was trying to like amend everything. Jacqueline Hill, I, I was apologize. Surprised. I, was, I was surprised when you went on her podcast. I was like, wow. Yeah, because I was like, you know what? Enough times pass and like whatever. Like when I came yeah, on your podcast. Yeah, sometimes you bury the hatchet. Yeah. I, but sometimes, you know. I'm. 
Because I'm pretty, and I feel like when you meet people in person, they're a little more like, they're mm -hmm. not as, you know, on, like Guarded. when I met you, you know yeah. what I mean? Everyone's just like a little more like reserved in person. They're not But as I'm like so. a saint. When you meet me, you realize that I'm actually like a saint. Well, you're also just like not I'm confrontational. I'm not like a psychotic person. Yeah, like before and after I met That's you the first time. Yeah. Because I feel like. um. Well, you're not a saint, but maybe not Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. Did you say saint? I'm a saint. No, you're not a saint, but Aww. you're nice. You're really nice. And like, but I am too. When I meet people, even if I disagree with them, like I'm nice. I wouldn't like. You know what I mean? I wouldn't just start making up, but sh that whole podcast, uh, Moses with me, it was six hours of her just like convincing me we're friends, convincing me things happened that didn't. And I was just like, I don't know what to say. So I was nice, nice, nice until the end. I had to be like, I don't know what to say. Like this never happened. Like, you're So stuff how up. long into going to her house for that podcast were you like, this was a huge mistake? About it, about two hours into it. Into she it. was really nice. Like, I'm telling you, when we first got there, super normal. We got there. She had Domino's pizza for us. She oh. She had those pink sugar cookies that we talked about in front of me. He's like, she really, like, knew, and I was oh. like, this is nice. And she was pretty chill. I'm like, this is cool. We're doing this. I want like, Domino's whatever. so bad right It doesn't now. deliver here. I wish we could. <sighs> yeah, I wish we could. But well, we can send someone to get it. We've got employees here. I just remember Moses. Fuck Gabby. <laughs> I want Domino's. Okay, let's get Domino's. But what Moses. What kind? Cheese. Who's getting Domino's? Are you serious? Oh, dude, I'm serious. You're the heart, now. You're I'm as serious now. as the heart attack I'm gonna have in 20 years. No, you're actually you're actually skinny, so maybe the workout's helping you. And you need to eat more. Like now that you're working yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in a calorie deficit right now. We what, have, Dan? We, we have a whole segment with snacks. The, oh, you probably don't want to. That's snacks. It's not food. And it's we're not meal. gonna get to it. There's like a lot of it though. Mm. Like, we gotta get to that. That's so great. We, we have a segment at, coming up. That at the top of the Can show? you show a clip? Like show a shot of all the snacks we have. We have weird like. uh What's a way to say it that's not insensitive? Foreign snacks? Yeah, foreign, not I feel weird. Like that's, I don't know. I feel like it's like, don't make us other. It's like, I, I don't know what to say. They're, yeah, from, they're from, from overseas. Other countries. Overseas yeah. snacks. Weird, bizarre, exotic <laughs> snacks that will freak you out. <laughs> some of them are some of them are unquestionably weird. Oh, it's God. not offensive. Thank you. Canceled Dan. You'll Canceled see. Canceled Dan? <laughs> yeah, he just said their culture's weird. Oh, geez. Okay. I didn't say their culture is weird. you're fired. I said some of these snacks are weird. Uh, we don't tolerate okay. xenophobic conversations. Oh Dan is xenophobic. canceled. Xenophobic. It means you hate foreigners or are afraid of foreigners. Me. Yeah. I used to be scared of Moses. When I would wake up in the middle of the night, I used to, like, literally for seven months, <laughs> I would wake up and be like, oh, my God, who is next to me? Like, I would be terrified. Like, it, it, when we moved into this Isn't new that house, like I like a disassociation thing? Maybe. Yeah. It was so scary. I'd wake up and be like, oh, my God. That's why I'm scared if I get, if I get pregnant. I'd be, like, waking up and be like, oh, my God. Like, what is in me? Like, what did yeah, I do? Yeah, but you got used to Moses, right? You're in yeah. Yeah. We had to move to the new house to be used to him. But I get rid really. Of the, the, the bad. Well, you had bad vibes at that old house. With all the weirdos coming Yeah, around. yeah, I think you're right about that. But anyway, sorry yeah. to derail, but There's let's no, get no, some dominoes. No. Can we get some dominoes, please? I mean, you guys think this is a game. If you want us to move on, somebody got to shake their sponsored. tails and get some dominoes. Rattle your dags. Do you know they say that in New Zealand? What? No. They say rattle your dags because there's a bunch of sheep in New Zealand. Oh. And they have, they call them, uh, they call them dags when they have little dried poop at their butthole. Why? Why dags? They just the call name. it dags. And so when they say quickly, they say rattle your dags because the sheep, their little poop nuggets rattle when they run fast. Oh, rattle your dags. That's cute. That's only in Australia. In New Zealand. Oh, same thing. OK, guys, can we get some movement over here? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> no, yes. no, no one's can we rattle our dags, please? <laughs> you guys think I'm kidding? Uh, OK. <laughs> This guy's not even listening. <laughs> Literally like, what? what You're you all want? fired. <laughs> you should just hire someone, since we have it in the budget, just to go get pizza for us. Like, they're the Domino's person. They should just have it here. I mean, we have two people here. I no, but they're working on stuff. Like, they're production. We need Sam to Sam has volunteered to go get it. Sam's also production. She's helping putting together things. Sam, are you busy? She's, she's, <laughs> See, she's prepping she the snacks. Ian, what are you doing? <laughs> He's also prepping. You guys are prepping snacks? They're prepping They're busy, snacks, apparently. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We should hire someone just for Domino's delivery. I have two employees here. But I mean, they're busy, so we need another, I guess, for the Domino's. Domino's needs, needs to deliver to our house. That, why doesn't it? That's so weird. That's You're so in LA. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm moving. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. He's like the hardest working, not the hard, but equally as hard. Ian's the hardest working. <laughs> kind of. He's doing Ian, a lot. Do you think you're the hardest working employee? He does. Yeah, I watched the H3. He no, always seems the man. Focused. What can I say? Yeah. I just want a fucking pizza. Olives, Hawaiian, <laughs> pep, uh, da, 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 jalapenos. 
I spoke like a fucking <laughs> stroke victim. Hold on. Let me try that again. Oh, my God. Black olives, pineapple, jalapenos. Thank you. This was your idea. <laughs> Literally, no. But you were, not. Rewind it. Wait, hold on. Hold on. You were so down, I'm and now you're acting down. like I'm crazy. But don't say it was my idea. I was like, someone go okay. get pizza right now. I mean, no, I'm yeah. down. I'll always eat pizza. Come on. It's a snack. It's a bonding experience. Yeah. I feel like you should eat before because then you have more energy. I mean, I did not eat this morning either for the record, so I guess I am hungry. I'm energetic. I'm just getting like crazy. I just get a little fucking like crazy. Because you worked out this morning? No, I didn't even. Oh, really? Because I had to do hair and makeup. Tomorrow I will. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so Gabby. Oh. Oh, it's a break? Okay, (laughs) back. We've been like clickbaiting this Gabby shit. No one All right, we got to do, we got to do ads. We'll be right back and talk about Gabby. Hey guys, it's just me doing the ad reads because we had a little bit of a blowout. I don't know how you say it. A little fight. Blowout. I don't, isn't a blowout when a baby has like a massive diarrhea and it goes out of their diaper? I think that's a blowout, which is not what we had. We had a little fight. And uh, she left at the end of the episode. So I'm going to be doing these uh, ad reads by myself today. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> today was uh, sponsored by... Uh, uh, upstart. When it comes to paying off debt, it can often feel like an uphill battle. High interest rates resulting in minimum monthly payments keep you in an endless cycle of debt. Well, Upstart can help you get ahead. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple, fixed monthly payment. Unlike the other lenders, Upstart looks at more than just your credit score, like your income, your employment, history. This means that they can offer smarter rates with trusted partners. And with a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. So find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash frenemies. That's upstart.com slash frenemies. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan applications. Remember, go to upstart.com slash frenemies. All right, so Quip, thank you for sponsoring us. There's a script here for Trisha and me, so I'm going to do be doing both parts today. Trisha says, hey, guys, remember Ethan and I were competing for who could raise the most money with our favorite Quip toothbrush? I got to promote Trisha's pink toothbrush now, even though I want mine to win and she's not here. and We just had a fight. The pink is cool. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to sell it because I'm the black toothbrush guy. Quip is no dating. They're donating $10 of, of all black electric toothbrushes and the all black pink electric toothbrushes to the charity of our choice. We have an update on who raised the most money. Trish, this is Trisha's line now. Trisha, Quip, Quip has donated over. I don't know. Ugh, jeez. Quip has donated over $25,000 combined to LGBTQ plus nonprofits. That is amazing. And I'm sure if Trisha was here, she'd be equally amazed by that. The Trevor Project and National Center for Transgender Equity. Wow. And Ethan, now this is me just by myself, I say, and drum roll, please. Trisha and her all pink electric toothbrush have raised the most money. Wow. And now we want to tell you about the coolest new way to keep your breath fresh for Pride Month and how you can get a free refillable gum dispenser. Yo, they got these gums that I've been munching on. First of all, did you know that gum is great for your oral health? It cleans your mouth. It's got to be sugar-free gum. Let's make that clear, which this is. But these dispensers are amazing. Watch this. Oh, can you get that? I want the dog to get it. Here, get ready for this. Watch this. Look at this. This is freaking awesome, dude. Cheers. Look at this big-ass, nice-looking gum. Mmm. To your health. Love that gum. The Quip Refillable Gum Dispenser and Gum Refills is a new way to chew gum, which is even more important now when we're unmasked and starting to be social again, let's get that breath fresh. You know what I mean? The me- the Metal Quip refillable gum dispenser comes in all different colors, including all black. You know, we love it. Here's how it works. You just easily add in the gum refill into the dispenser. It pulls out, I'm assuming. Yeah. 
just like that. It's like a Pez dispenser. And it takes one click on the dispenser to pop out each gum. And I personally love the way the gum tastes. It tastes really good, minty, super good for your teeth. So if you're looking to freshen up your breath or just get yourself like clean your mouth, you know, gum all day. I didn't know this, but dentists actually recommend chewing sugar-free gum, like Quip's gum after meals. Plus, the gum has xylitol, which is a natural substance that can help prevent cavities and is accepted by the American Dentist Association. The best part? After you get the dispenser, it refills. The refills are automatically delivered with free shipping on your preferred schedule. And refills cost as low as $1.78 per 10 piece of uh, gum. It costs less than normal gum in the store, and you can be proud to put it out and put it in your, bo- your bag or pocket. And we got a crazy good hookup. Right now, you can get a free all back black metal gum dispenser when you sign up for refills. That's right. You get a free all black metal gum dispenser. And all you have to do, and then you will have fresh breath all summer long. Let's get it. All you have to do is use the code FRESHBOY2005. We were trying to figure out, decode this. The code is FRESHBOY2005 at getquip.com. Is this a reference to Teddy Fresh or Sad Boy? Or is it a combination of both? Well, it's definitely Sad Boy. Uh, but whether or not it's a Teddy Fresh reference or it's just referring to having fresh breath. It I think is, it's an uh, homage to Trisha, and it's just like she's the sad boy, and you can be the fresh boy. There you go. With Quip's amazing, beautiful gum at getquip.com. Just go to uh, getquip.com. And use code FRESHBOY2005 to get a free all-black metal gum dispenser. That's getquip.com with code FRESHBOY2005. We're back. Thank you for waiting. Gabby, Hannah. Gabby, 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 Gabby. I just, like, I just get scared already because she's, like, she thought we talk about her every episode when we mentioned her, like, one time. Oh, yeah, she said she did have a great take on Twitter. She goes, she messaged me directly on Twitter. She said, Ethan, since I'm a reoccurring topic (laughs) on your show, I was like, she goes, I, I would, don't think I don't remember one time talking about. Her. She says she wanted to come on and educate you on neuro, neurological disorders. I'm f- trust me, I don't need any education <laughs> on neurological disorders. I'm a living fucking. I'm a living <laughs> specimen. <laughs> Well, she's blaming all this, according to BuzzFeed, on her ADHD, that her delusions and stuff. She thinks it's ADHD related. That's her thing. But I don't know. I don't. I'm not an ex- ADHD expert, so I'm not going to speak on it. But I have seen a lot of people saying that. They have it and they don't act like they this. don't like that portrayal <laughs> just, of it. They're not delu- like delusions is one thing. Delusions yeah. What from a different thing? My my uh, armchair theory, my armchair diagnosis based on no qualifications at all. But knowing people who have bipolar is that like it can make you go mani have mania moments of mania, which yeah. it seems like she's having. She swears that she says it's a troll, but it's not because she's. Also, it's not getting attention. Like, no one's watching her videos. No one cares. She's like, my views are up. I'm getting millions of views. It's like, she shitted on a girl for having 4,000 views on her video when her podcast gets 20,000 views. I'm like, girl, like, yours is not any, like, why? It's just, anyways, there's a lot. But anyway, delusions also happens. It is also a symptom of of a man. Oh, yeah, yeah, for uh, sure. I'm, I'm, yeah. But anyway, the the reason we're actually talking about this is because BuzzFeed did an article uh, but with interviewing Gabby Hanna. (laughs) And in the article, the article is called, Why is everyone so mad at Gabby? And she's addressing some of her controversy and stuff. But here's where it gets really weird. She said this uh, apparently about you. I guess it wasn't specific, but I think everyone concluded it was Wait, about can, you. Before we get into that, can I just say mm-hmm. one thing? The reason I the reason I did get so triggered is this the same person who wrote this, the author, came to interview me mm-hmm. at my house and was supposed to do an article on me. And that's why – and I had – Asked the author to not include me associated with Gabby and vice versa. And I sent her an email on my birthday, May 8th, because the interview was May 7th. And she's like, yeah, of course, because I said it really was like triggering me at the time. And it still really does because it's like, how do you fight delusions? Like, it's just the scary when someone's obsessed with you. And so I said, can you just not put me in? Because I know talking about her just like it fuels it. She like she she's so you excited asked, to be attached wait, you to You asked me. the author if she interviewed. Did you know she was doing an article with Gabby? No, it was so oh, weird. So, so, you, so she, I did, but not at first. I so you were know. saying don't include anything I said about Gabby in the interview. Because she came which to my is, house. Which is fine. She came to my house. I had such a good experience. She was with, asking you questions about right Gabby. Away. Oh, well, then that that's. And no interview I've ever done has ever been about Gabby. Every interview, Ga- well, this is the only interview Gabby's ever gotten, but like it was all like, you know, she talks about other people and hers, but I never got interviewed about Gabby. So she started asking me right away and I was like, oh no. And it felt weird anyways. And then at the end, she's like off the record, she started talking about Gabby again. And I was like, 
as she left, she was there four hours as BuzzFeed girl. And I looked to Moses. My mom was also there. And I was just like, something did not feel right about that. Like, because she, she was came with a, she came with an ulterior motive. She's like, no, Gabby's just a troll. She's not and I'm like, but she did this, this and this. Like she was convinced. Like, I don't know if they're friends. I don't know what the situation was. Do you know was. If the interview they did with Gabby was before? Or after it was before. Your... Oh, weird. What? A... Yeah. Ugh. It sucks, too, because I had a photo shoot with BuzzFeed this week. And I was like, so excited. The pictures were going to be gorgeous. But I was like, I just don't want to be associated. Even if they cut everything out about Gabby, I was like, I don't want this person writing my article. Because also the article is just also shitty written. So I was like, oh, I really don't want this. It just gave me a bad taste. Like the next day before I knew any of this stuff about Gabby, anything, the next day I was like, on my birthday, I woke up. I was like, I had so much anxiety. I was like, can you please just like omit anything about Gabby? Vice versa. And I don't say anything bad. When I she interviewed me, it was at the time where yeah, I really. So, you don't want the, her in your narrative. Yeah. And I and I know regardless of what Gabby says, she was she's like manic. Something seriously is wrong with her where mm. either she's going to hurt herself or someone else. So I wasn't trying to like push her. Like a lot of people are like antagonist. I wasn't trying to push her. I literally was like, whoa, like this is like a really serious situation. So when she asked me, I was like, this is someone who's so clearly, people have said this about me on, and they were right on on the internet as like someone that's really untreated for real she's she has issues because she's she's not she's not well she like she lies and then the next day says that it didn't happen there's like something not well like that's mm. just facts that happened to me so with her and so I just I saw the article come out and the way and then she mentioned me which I like triggered but also the fact that everything so you can read it everything is like lies that they said like you couldn't fact check she Rachel Oates is another girl that Gabby had some issues with and the author said about Rachel Oates like none of this information could be verified because Gabby made all these claims about Rachel Oates and the author was like we can't verify this but for me she didn't give me that yeah, courtesy she did it, and she yeah. didn't even reach out which is ironic or, I mean it's not ironic it's unprofessional because she went to your house after that interview yeah and she didn't at specically say Gabby said this can you yeah confirm or deny no. it See, and that, no that's phone call for unprofessional well everyone was saying like unethical like poor journalism poor Definitely. faith bad faith journalism yeah, bad but, faith for yeah. Sure. and also she said okay yes I'll, she even said i had the email i showed it that what she said back was like i'll respect your mental health to protect your mental health i will not talk about you and the thing and then she did and i was like it was it was so bizarre it was so crazy i was like wow oh, I, I don't know the, but but from this interview i did i just had a bad feeling right away and i had good experiences with so many other interviews which is why i was saying yes to this because i did all these mm. interviews that were so positive and so good so i was like this will be fun and it's a photo shoot right mm -hmm. so you're like okay they'll have a photographer come it'll be fun and so but when she left it was so different than any other interview where i was just like something felt wrong because she was just really questioning gabby and no one's ever asked me about gabby because yeah why i'm not uh, trying to be like rude but like literally she's, she's just not really that popular anymore for people to talk about her so i was just like no one cares they care about david of course but also and let me clarify this too everyone's like we well, talk about david and jason like david and jason i was in a, like i was friends in a relationship i was in their vlogs for two years gabby and i met twice for like a couple minutes like i don't know this girl it's clear to me that you guys are not friends yeah and i have i have yeah. some actually some proof here too but that's her whole this whole thing is just her trying to say we're friends like that's I feel her like thing. She's just trying to fuck with you it's like weird it's she weird keeps being like well here she says in the article that buzzfeed didn't attempt to confirm with you or to validate this claim at all they say gabby states imagine you had a friend six years ago who to this day is contacting your employers contacting everyone you know and trying to ruin your reputation she told me referring in part to paytas oh so she does specifically mm -hmm. mention you I lost sponsors. I lost a record deal. I lost my friends. How can you ruin friendships? Because let me just tell you what she's referring to. She started a rumor about me having herpes and I address it that it's not true. So that's how you lost sponsors because you told everyone I had herpes. Like I didn't say anything defamatory ever about Gabby. I said what you said is not true. You're a psycho. Leave me alone. That's what I said. Like uh, that's not she lost. How much did they say? the money? They say right? Hannah estimates between 2019 and 2020. <laughs> she lost between 10, five and 10 million in ad revenue, sponsor <laughs> deal I, I, and record label contracts. It's like <laughs> her whole life. She's lost her record deals. I mean, come on. Which she, which she says she declined to name because there is no record deal because Gabby <laughs> is delusional. The fact she said five to ten million dollars in one year. I've never made five million dollars in AdSense in That's 13 years five, I've been on YouTube. Five to ten million is like big creator money. And she's. I mean, with peace and love, not. Really no, a I've been on YouTube since 2006. Or she was, I guess, back. Not not at this. Time, no, though. not like this level. And I've got minimum 20 million views. Even now I get 20 million views a month. And I, my highest, I got 50 million views a month for 13 years. I probably made literally I can check my AdSense, made my ads a little, but I literally probably made $2 million off AdSense in 13 years. Like my AdSense is shit. I could show you right now. Lifetime thing. So that's so. That's a lot. But, that's but she said she says AdSense. Well, OK, let me ask you this. Did you ever contact any of her employers? No, and that's so what easily employers? verified. She's a YouTuber. What employers? She's saying she had brand, what brand deal? I don't know. She, that's so easily verified. Who, I don't have an employer. Who has an employer of, she, that's a YouTuber? I don't know. According to the BuzzFeed article, she also has a publicist. Contact, the whole time. Contacting everybody you know, trying to ruin your reputation. Well. She's. 
sponsors. I don't, you know, sponsors, record deal, and I lost friends. <laughs> a record so deal. she's blaming the collapse of her entire life on you. Over me doing a video saying, Gabby, I don't have herpes. You're a psycho. Leave me alone. Like, that's the video. That's all I said. She started the rumor about me, and that's why it's so frustrating. And then, But they should verify this information. Yeah, they shouldn't print that. And it should be easy or to verify. Or they should at least ask you and be like, did this happen? And then they could say, like, Patricia's stated that this never happened. And you know, I've and done, we haven't been able to find any evidence that it did. That's the thing. It's like, I've done so many, even other people who get interviewed by magazines. I had a big magazine just call me the other day to fact check someone else's interview. Like people call other people. It's so easy to verify if someone lost sponsorships. It's so easy. You see an email from a company that says, yep, we're, we're not sponsoring you anymore, whatever. But this is so, it's so crazy. And what it is, is she's everything she is. She says, I'm obsessed with her. She says, I called her friend. She, the reason I made the video, she, every single person I hung out with, she would call them if she knew them and be like, Trisha talk about me. What did Trisha like? That's she's, super weird, bro. And she's I never made. In stab, I never yeah. made one video about it since. But before that, and then she kept harassing people. And then when the herpes thing came out, she posted on Instagram uh, the the text message with my name and herpes in it. And that's when I made the video. I'm like, Gabby, you are psychotic. You've been harassing me for years. Like, leave me alone. This is my leave me alone. And. Like, yeah, I guess it's getting her attention or whatever. I mean, but it's all bad. I don't think it's good attention. And also no one's really watching her video still. She still gets like. Yeah, I don't think it's really good for her that she keeps going on and on about it. She's not a troll. I think she should just, I think it'd be better for everyone just to mind their business. But I understand that I'm not blaming you. You've been steering clear of her for as much as boss humanly possible. Yeah. And I don't know why she just keeps going on and on. It's like, it's not helping anybody. Because this is nothing that, again, I, did, I didn't do anything to her. I wasn't, I didn't know her for any period of time. I didn't do anything to her. You know, like stuff I've talked about or like people I have that have been in my life that have affected me, I talk about because like they did do stuff to me. I, I've never done one thing to her. I've never made a lie up about her. I don't know. She, she, you know what? And then you say like, when we were talking about how she's, you know, she's what we were saying, that's just to fuck with me. But when we were there at the house, she was like pulling up tweets from 2015, like off camera, just being like, look, you did say we were friends. We did say. And I was just like, it's so it's so here's crazy. a tweet from her saying specifically, Trisha isn't my friend. It's like is she, it's like you are when you when it's good for her and you are not when she doesn't. So everyone said that about the herpes thing. Like she if she said, was this your isn't friend. my friend. Trisha yeah. isn't my friend. I don't, I don't know what year this but is. But now I was about. friends of her for six years. Like, I was just Trisha like, isn't my friend. To text her out of nowhere and say, is this true? You have herpes is very strange. I didn't care if she said. He told me in person. I responded in person to talk about it with her. Like, she said, it's not my biz. It's his. So I asked. So I said, ask her if you care. Don't if you don't. Why is she type like a 10-year-old? I don't know. She's, there's something so wrong anyway, with her. Anyway, she literally said, Trisha isn't my friend. So I don't know what to tell you. I don't I it's just it's just such a it's just so scary and when I was there in person too like again she was really nice at the beginning and it turned really scary there was a point I just looked over I remember Moses being like let's leave let's leave because it just was like so off camera she would stop the camera and say let's take a break let's take a break and then she would just like trauma dumping like ball her eyes out and say this person said this about me like it was insane and I just I sat there the whole She's time kind of, she has like a I feel like she has kind of like a weird paranoia Oh, issue too. Well, her harassing these kids, like I, I know you didn't get this deep into it, but to this day I on did. discords and stuff I have like good that, stuff. like no, I have, I have good stuff. So it's beyond trolling if she's going into private discords and like yeah. threatening lawsuits with children no, and like she has like a she's very paranoid. She thinks people are out to get her, which. You know what? I've dealt with paranoia myself and you can get medication for it. And the fact that she's not getting like treatment and just like harassing people, like that's what's so scary. And when it goes untreated, like it's the scariest shit. And it is paranoia. Just by definition, she admitted it. She goes, oh yeah, I asked a 12 year old or 13 year old for this information. And then I found, I thought it was somebody else. And then I found out it wasn't. And now I feel stupid and I shouldn't have done that. And I was like, so that's, that's paranoia. She like admitted it. It's like, that's what you need help with. Like, I just don't understand how she, no one's getting her help, like in her real life. Well, you can't help people that don't want it. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, Gabby said in the right. article, she believes that the reason she's unable to make a comeback is because she's <laughs> held to a higher standard mm -hmm. of other creators. In the article, she said she specifically called out controversial YouTubers such as PewDiePie, Logan Paul and Jeffree Star and the and claimed that Gabby is held to a different standard because uh, she is a woman and views her treatment as sexist. I honestly believe that it's honestly just because you're not you're making content people want to watch. Yeah. It's I mean, you've been canceled. You've bounced back. People yeah. love your Oh, ass. my God. Yeah, that's yeah. it's such a weird thing because also, like, what did she say? Held to a different standard and fans. 
The thing is, she's but she's never. She said in the thing like, oh, I've I've always had an issue. Apology. She doesn't. She's even in this article. Everyone else is the problem and not her. Like every single person who's had issues with her, she's never taken accountability for anything. I think I've said I can't count how many times I've been in the wrong and you say it, but she can't. She can't see it. She's the victim. She's but it, always yeah, the. Victim. It's like really, you're gonna blame it on the whole world being sexist that you can't bounce back, like. PewDiePie, Logan Paul, Jeffree Star. That's how our brain thinks, though. You're not entitled to anything. You have to work for it, dude. Your content sucks. I mean, with peace and love, I mean, you know. Her content sucks, but also she sucks. She's like a really shitty person, like a really shit person. Like, (laughs) the stuff, the reason, like, I mean, there's there's all that stuff, like. (laughs) Stop, I can't. (laughs) And she did a show called Escape the Season with Joey and his boyfriend at the time, Daniel. And like he just said how what a nightmare she was. He did a whole video being like, what a nightmare she was. Jesse Smiles, what a nightmare she was. Like uh, Liza and David, what a nightmare she was. And like she thinks she did nothing wrong. She goes, oh, I don't know why everyone's attacking me. It's like because you're really – she's a she's she's shit in real life. Like she's a shit, shit person. Like it's not a troll. It's like she's a shitty person. Let's see. Um, how I woke up – here's a tweet just to k- give all the context. Uh, oh, I can keep it on my screen, right? This is how I woke up on my birthday morning, uh, June 5th, in stress and desperation. I emailed BuzzFeed not to include me. This is the—oh, I, I shouldn't show the email addresses and stuff. I don't oh, think wait, it shows. I don't. didn't show it. I, I posted it you're on right, Twitter. You're right. You're right. You're right. I blocked hers out. Let's see. So this is after you guys met. She says, it was nice seeing you. I just wanted to email this morning. This is from you. This is the next day. Like You're the saying, next please day. admit anything about Gabby Hanna. What, you believe her to be a troll. She really affected my mental health back in January. And blah, blah. you're saying, please don't include her in my article. Yeah. And then I said the second one, I was saying, like, if you choose to, that's fine. I'm, I'm not <clears throat> writing to this girl. I'm like, don't publish this. I was just saying, if you choose to, it's fine. I'm like, just please leave me out of it. Like, that's it. Because I knew she was writing the article. She told me that, you know, and uh, but she didn't fact check anything with me. So that's, I was like, what the hell? Like, it was so weird. It just and, gave me a bad feeling. And this is like immediately the next day. So I was just like, you know, let's just because I didn't want to like I didn't want to put more things to Gabby's credit. You know what I mean? I mean, I. I so here is the author, by the way, making a tweet. She said, regardless of the whole story, I think it's insulting commentary on Gabby Hanna's appearance. Who's saying? Who's Nobody. Making, yeah. So that's the thing. So everyone's Well, she said, let me read the art. Yeah. She said, so the, the author is now saying that commentary on Gabby's appearance is sexist, racist if it's about her nose. Why? Is she Jewish? What's She's racist? like part Lebanese, I guess. Oh, no, okay. So what's why was it racist if about it? I, I mean, guess because okay. it's a Middle Eastern nose, she said, and that's what Gabby's argument is is that her nose is she said that on I didn't podcast. know what I thought only Jews got shit for noses. I that's guess why Lebanese I Jews. people do. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I'm not sure. That's Can't you just let us Jews have one thing? <laughs> Can I just be the the nose victim, people? Oh, my God. You can't demand maturity from someone and then descend into the childish spineless critique. Who are we demanding maturity from? From her. Why right. are you going to say a whole, like, okay, whatever. But Here. all the comments you'll see are, like, nobody's talking about her appearance. Everyone's talking about, like, her yeah. harassing people, calling people bitches. Next up like- to back. So, so this video, the under it, was amazing, and you're going to love this. So I'm just going to play it for you. This is a perfect example of how her perception, how she's so delusional, how, like, in her narrative, she's the good guy and living in this cruel, twisted mm-hmm. world. But in reality, you'll see, because this video is so well put together, that she's actually being quite mean and cruel. She's so and mean. then she's making this poor victim, who she's being unreasonably mean to, uh, out you got to watch this. This is amazing. Next up to bat is Dominic DeAngelis. He had to come at me on Twitter, said that I was the uh, worst person he's ever met in L.A. So let me tell you about the day I met him. So before I met him, he played a game of Smash or Pass publicly on YouTube. And when my picture came up, he dehumanized me and demeaned me. You know, like a misogynistic, disgusting piece of shit who acts as if he could have a chance with me anyway. Now, by the way, I'll say that Smash or Pass is gross. It is kind of a gross game to play like that. But she also played it twice. Oh, she's done it before. Oh, yeah. She, oh, and she well, said the she played it with Timothy Delegato, this YouTuber, and he said this girl and she goes, ew, she's so gross. Like it was about she oh, said so that she's this. such a hypocrite. Yeah, it's a hypocrite. OK, so then it. forget it. But yeah. OK, so this guy on the left, she's saying dehumanized her. OK, mm-hmm. who says he just pulled up a sign that said pass. Pass. Why would you pass on Gabby? It's not my type, man. Shit. <laughs> he just said she's not my type, man. Yeah. That's it, literally all. In her Smash Bass game, she said to someone, ew, she's so gross. Like when someone said that they would smash her. So she like, but yeah. wait, it, get, yeah. it gets way okay. better than this, right? So watch this. <laughs> so at a party, he approached me like nothing was wrong. And I confronted him about it. And I said, I didn't like that. And he was like, oh, come on, it's just games. And I said, well, you're too short for me to fuck. 
how do you like being judged on your physical appearance? And then he stormed off and didn't like me anymore. You fucking nasty piece of shit. Oh so she thought she really did something. But now, again, this is so good because they have footage of exactly the interaction at the party. And it's her Oh, yeah. Let's talk about it. This is the guy. Yeah. I did. So you mean to tell me that if tonight we got a little bit drunk and I was like, hey, I'm really interested in you. You think you're out of my league? I don't say you're out of my league. No. But you would pass. Honestly, I'll do anything when I'm drunk. Just when you're drunk? No. Is it the fact that I'm three inches taller than you? Is that the reason you're a little intimidated? Is that yeah. why you're going fast? So she's trying to like tear him down at his core, like short guy. I'm gonna fuck you up. So like, yeah. It's like the good the dude literally just said you're not his type, and he's being nice to her here. This is what yeah, I'm talking yeah, about yeah. in person. He was totally. like, okay, we're cool, whatever. Totally. And she's like, well, you're three inches too. Like, who says that to someone in the real life? Like that's exactly. Insane. And so like, exact. This is exactly why I could totally understand why he doesn't like her. I mean, this is just so inappropriate. And then you're sicking your fans out after him being like, oh, this guy's a misogynist. He literally just said you would. You're not his type. And you also. Play this game, Gabby, twice. Like, you can't, you cannot be. Dog would fuck. Dog would fuck. Dog would fuck. Yo, it's fine. Nobody on my blog channel knows. He's just being nice. He's like, maybe, maybe. So, that, so like, that's. Because what are you going to say to someone in real life? No, I don't want to fuck. Like, it's just such an just being nice. And who asked somebody that? Oh, it's so crazy. I don't know. And then, wait, wait, I got to watch this. And then she says, hang on. She says something about, like. Nobody knows who you are. Yo, it's fine. Nobody on my blog channel knows. Oh, yeah, she and then she hits him with the nobody knows who you are. Like, she's some big time. I literally had never, like, I did not know I thought about that Gabby. Was, like, I thought that clip was great because it really shows the distortion of reality. It's so crazy. It, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it's just there's facts that she's a delusional person. And it's just, like, it's just scary. It's just really scary. Here's another one. Gabby calls, uh, called malignant, malignant narcissist by journalists who analyzes moments in Gabby's BuzzFeed profile. Mm -hmm. When she asks everyone about most embarrassing moment, journalist goes on to describe it as forced intim intimacy to hold others at emotional gunpoint. So the first part of the article was the author said right when she walked in the room, Gabby asked everyone to say their most embarrassing moment, hmm. like without like everyone was there. And then that girl was saying like, that's a really that's this other art person was saying that that's like emotional blackmail. It says, OK, Hanny tur Hannah turned to us and said, OK, this is a question for everyone in the room. What's your most embarrassing moment? And even though she hadn't met any of us before, including her new publicist, <laughs> who at no point during the day would allow me to speak to Hannah alone, we answered one told her about a recent blackout, another about an awkward interaction with a crush. And you, Hannah, asked me. So wait, who was this article, This person then? Just a random person. She didn't know who Gabby was. This person has no idea who Gabby is. She just commented on like, uh, she's not random. She's like a, she's a reporter for something or a writer for something. One thing a lot of women really need to watch out for is this technique of forced intimacy in women's spaces where essentially the goal is to have enough compromising information to hold others at emotional gunpoint. It's manipulative and you should stay distant from it. This is unpopular in the U.S. but accepted in Europe. You should share your most personal information with people you can trust. Take note, if people dig for your vulnerabilities while ignoring your strength, they're looking for emotional leverage. Raise the bar for your She was your just time. commenting on like something on BuzzFeed, but... It'd be fun to show everybody the friendship that you said didn't fucking oh that exist. so then this is her threatening you with i god knows what she's saying text from like 2016 because you didn't she's know saying me, oh right? here can you turn it's it up dan so this is when you keep saying we're not friends we're this, not friends and this is when i had my i did have like a really bad episode so i had like schizophrenia a diagnosis on in january of this year and i was kind of cool with it this was right before medication i i really had to get medication after this because i was like holy shit like it's it, because she's like i had these texts from you and i was just thinking mm. like because I have my own delusions with paranoia, I, like late, as of late, I was thinking like, oh my God. But then after like going, I, there's a thing called cognitive group therapy that I went to. And I've after like going to that, I was like, reality like set in. And I was like, I've never even... I've never even said like my birthday to this girl. I've never, I've never shared anything with her, but she's saying I shared all these secrets. And then all of a sudden my, my brain starts spinning that way. So I have like a breakdown. Like I had a yeah, true she's making you question breakdown. your reality. Yeah. And I was like, but then after like really like getting like stability, I was thinking like, oh, literally I've never told this girl anything. She's just being... She's just being disgusting. Like, it's just a, this really weird troll behavior. And I guess you could call it trolling because I'm a public figure. But when she does this with other people that are private, that people are, like, not even in the public eye. Like, it's it's so – she's so scary to me in so many ways. And I'm not just – like, I do not say that lightly. Like, she's an actual <laughs> – she has psychotic behavior. And it's really scary. The way she's manic, the way she's, like, yelling and screaming and, like, 
It's scary. Her face is very ter. It, it really is scary. Everything about her is terrifying. I should wear a Gabby Hanna mask on Halloween when we do a Halloween episode. <laughs> I will. I will have a heart attack. And I'll have a knife, and I'll be like, Trisha, are you doing? <laughs> Like, that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen one day. I it, it's awful. I just I hate to say this, but I really do think she needs to be like. I wish she would, so she'd be locked away. Is she she's unworthy? Really dangerous. Well, I know in your mind and your like own life story, you you were expecting to die somehow. Yeah. So is Gabby a worthy person to murder you or no? No, because she'll get what she wanted. She'll always be associated with me. If she's the one to kill me, it's like Yolanda with Selena. They always but John talk Lennon about. was killed by some random nobody. It's kind of iconic. He got his own movie. Jared Leto played the killer. Right. And same thing with Selena. Like, you can't mention, you know, Selena Quintanilla? Mm. She was killed by her fan, Yolanda. Oh, that, was the, that was the girl who was shot by a fan at, like, VidCon or something? No, no. Oh, that was Christina Grimmie. Oh, Grimmie. Yolanda right. Saldivar was her, like, a, a big fan of Selena, and she, like, worked close with her, and she shot her because, like, Selena didn't want anything to do with her anymore. And now, <laughs> so are you afraid whole... if, are you afraid if Gabby kills you, you won't get that biopic? I'm scared she'll be a part of it because uh, no matter what, the killers are a part of it. And she's. It, it's it's just, it's scary. Mm -hmm. Like, just her, I've never been, had this obsessiveness by anybody in my life, and it's, like, really, it's really, really scary. And I try to ignore it. But with this BuzzFeed article, it really just triggered me again because this person that I let into my house and interview me, like, didn't tell me any of this stuff. And I was just like, what is happening? Like, then that again, I so start... That was stuff of that, art, that, auth, that author, dude. That especially was super dirty. My whole interview was about mental health and, like... Right all the stuff I'm dealing with with that and then also she was like congratulating me oh your house and your businesses and then get all this so it was like really great and then when she asked the Gabby questions especially when she went off record and it's like okay off record she's like telling me stuff about Gabby and then I, something just fell off so the next the next morning I had anxiety all night the next morning I was like just don't mention Gabby in mine I don't want to be mentioned in hers and she wrote back I won't mention you but can I say you were declined to comment and I was like fine that's fine and then she, she put me in an article I was like this it was crazy. It was, it was, I was, I was really in shock. And I was, I was really upset. This was Saturday and I was really, I was, I was manic. I'm, <laughs> glad, I'm glad we're talking about it because I think it's good for you because I, I, I feel bad every time you're like, you've got this person that you're trying so hard to avoid. I'm glad we're getting it out there. And then I think we should just like really yeah. leave it. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think, and again, I would have left it if it, and, like, I guess because it was like the same article and I didn't know if BuzzFeed, because BuzzFeed just came to my house to do a photo shoot this past Wednesday. So I was like, shit, are they going to still run this article? And I didn't want to email her directly because I, I did it before and she like just disregarded and ignored me. And then, mm. and I didn't even mention her on Twitter, the author. The author inserted herself. So like that at mention, I never at mentioned her. I just mm. said like whatever. And then she inserted herself and said some bullshit tweet. But it is just something that I want to put out there because again, I just, this person is obsessive. I've said in numerous videos like to like leave me alone. And like even the herpes thing, the reason I made the video was I'm like, Gabby, just leave me alone. Like mm -hmm. I, you did the herpes thing. Stop questioning my friends why I don't like you. This is why I don't like you. That initial video was why I don't like you, Gabby. And she couldn't like leave me alone. And I've never, I've literally never done anything defamatory to her, nothing. Calling her, fr like what friends, what sponsors? I know nothing about you. Like yeah, what are you just, even doing? I feel like there's no way, dude. That's just delusional. That's, that's so, but that's what's so crazy is she thinks that I have this power to make her lose ten million dollars in a year. Like it's right. Oh, how, but that even that number shows the delusion that she has. Even yeah, that number, no nobody way, is like. Dude. Could you imagine if I'm like, yeah, I made ten million dollars last year, but like I lost it because of David Roberger, whatever the no fuck. Like that way. number is crazy. Yeah, that's in, she's she's it's 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 really scary. Well, anyway, so she put up this video being like, yo, we're friends, uh, and it'd be fun to show everybody the friendship that you said didn't fucking exist because you didn't know me, right? Despite the fact I never that said I, I have didn't know her. years of text messages saved between. Yeah, just te I mean, I text with people casually, too. That's and pretty normal. The fact is, as doesn't I mean, I'm our friend. I want you go like look for text. I like how do you even save for something from 2016? I don't have messages like how she has these. Yeah, saved. I don't either. Because they delete after a while. You get new or phones, get new whatever. Phone, yeah. The fact that she has these all like saved or even my Instagram was like deleted. <laughs> it's like weird. it's crazy. But even the stuff that she's like threatening me with the background. It doesn't it's, like we some conversation. In I don't know why. You yeah. And it's like. Was the threat that we texted? I was. I yeah, was I wasn't nicer. sure. She's just like, look, we talked in text one time. It's like, okay, epic. And I was nicer before 2017, before the herpes thing. I always was nicer. We never hung out. I so met you her don't twice. have herpes, right? I don't have herpes. You never had herpes. I've never had. It's okay if you did. It's more common than people. Think. I would. I would be the first to be like, I have. I have cold sores on my lips sometimes. I've never had genital herpes. You have which oral I'm, herpes. Um, I guess I don't know. I don't. I've no never shame. gotten medication for it. I've never gotten like, very common. But no one's diagnosed me with like herpes. Like, when I was younger, I had cold sores, but I don't. Have, oh, yeah. I've never had on um, my yeah I, cold sores. But I tell people all the time I've had chlamydia. Dan gets cold sores. He just put his hand up. Okay, so I but I haven't had one in fifteen years. You know what I mean? So I don't take like medication. But why would for she it? of all people know that anyway? 
So what she told me, and I'll just say it, she said off, but she's like, oh, Shane told me that. And I was like, Shane is, oh, Shane. Shane, yeah. But you know, can I tell you, since Shane's been out of my life, I really think he had the evil eye on me for real. Because as soon as I- You the, think Shane actually did plant that in her head? I feel like that's a stretch, even for Shane. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah cause I mean, he, I guess he, supposedly to Peter Mon, he called me like, what did he call me, a sociopath or something to Peter Mon? Oh, Shane was so, saying mean shit about you. I guess. What a fucking asshole. Which is so crazy. Bro, I would never speak a bad word about you, and like, especially in like private, you that's know, after saying. now, after now. I'm sure I said plenty of mean things about you in private before we became Have friends. Have you? Before we became friends. I don't think I've ever said anything mean or in private would, about I would, someone. I would probably just say like, she's, she's a lot or something right, like that. Right, of course, Not, you don't I wouldn't someone. be like, she's got herpes. Just, like make weird shit up. It's so weird, and it's like the no. oh, is that? But the thing is, is like, well, it's, just, it's that's sad to me because I honestly consider Shane like my like I never said one bad so thing. So you said Shane, he, he has this evil eye on you, like in what way? I thought he did honestly because as soon as I I cut Shane and Rylan off, and I've been seeing like all this nastiness, like I because my life was so toxic when I was friends with Shane. Mm. He was the only person that was like there for me for things. Mm. But I have to wonder if he was like putting out like negative energy, like wishing it because as soon as I cut him off this year in January, like everything, like my skin didn't just clear up, but like oh, everything. Oh <laughs> shit. Yeah. It's true. It's been <laughs> a good time was, for Trisha Paytas. But my skin cleared up because that hair by J thing was all or, in January. Or did it happen when you met me? Or did it happen from Trishkin.com? <laughs> Trishkin, you just launched that. <laughs> no, but no, but like seriously, my even my aura, my stability in my mind, like my, my the fact that I can handle triggers and like good, good auras. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and I've got to therapy. I've been going to therapy since 2019, so you could say therapy. But at the same time, I'm like, I really think since like I really left that, like everything's been like so much better. That's just very like, interesting. Yeah, everything like health, like money, like everything just like flows, friendships, everything. Because, oh, well, the, here's another thing. It's kind of Gabby. When I went on the podcast, this was in January. And at the time, she's like, oh, would you, you have like a giant feather in your eyelashes? Feather? Should I take it out? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I got it. Like oh, that's so like weird. String. Where did it come from? Oh, okay, no. thank you for telling yeah, me because if you don't tell me, yeah, then I know. Bad. Last time you got angry at me. <laughs> no, but you but, had like a little powder <laughs> on your face and you got like super no, nuclear it was like on me. Food or something on? I think. Anyways, it doesn't matter. But when I was on the podcast in January, her podcast, she had asked me. It was the friendship thing. She was so. Again, Moses, there you can attest. Anyone can attest to this. Even on the podcast, she just she spent so much convincing me that we were friends. And I was like, and I even apologized. I said, I'm sorry if like I, you know, I, I have to be honest. I said it on the podcast. I don't I don't like friends. I don't have friends because I'm really bad Are at you friendly. Like, you were friendly. I'm friendly. With her. And yeah. I and I've always said that. I'm like, I don't, I'm not good at friendships, like I don't want friendships, all this stuff like that. So I, I said apologize to her if she thought like whatever. And then she goes, Well, you're friends with Ethan and Hila. And at the time, this was January. This was the second week in January. This was after our blowout in January December. We weren't hanging out because of COVID or whatever. And you I said, said on the show that we weren't friends. I said, I said, what? I don't really consider them friends, you know what I, I mean? I know what you mean. I know we don't hang mean. out. I don't think, yeah, we were, we're at the time, yeah. But then she goes, No, you are friends with them. Like, she spent so much time trying to convince me that I was friends with you guys after because, I said no. Because if you're not friends with us, then her whole her whole understanding of friendship is gone. Haywire. Right. Well, that's what she said. Because I said, well, I don't hang out with them. She goes, you don't need to hang out with people to be friends with them. Like, she was like going, everything had an answer. And I was Clearly, like. Clearly, her definition of friendship is much different. Of course. And I her. kind of agreed to like disagree with that because I said that. And I said in her house. And when she was making up these lies and she wasn't showing me proof, I kept saying, show me proof, show me proof. Eventually, I had to be like, Gabby, like, I'm trying to be dis I'm trying to be respectful in your house. And like, but I'm going to say that stuff didn't happen. She goes, you're gaslighting me now. I said, no, because what I really want to say is you're a psychotic bitch. But I'm being like <laughs> nice because I'm in your house. <laughs> she like didn't get it. She was just, and she still doesn't. And like, but she is, and I mean, from one psycho like psychotic person to another, like she is psychotic. There is, I, I have a psychotic mental illness. She has a psychotic mental illness because she has proven that she has delusions. She's admitted to delusions. Get help. Get pills. Get something. Let's watch this video. So this is her threatening you. Apparently, it'd be fun to show everybody the friendship that you said didn't fucking exist what? because you didn't know me, right? Despite the fact that I have years of text messages saved between us. I don't know why you lie like this. You're a really, really mean, malicious person. Like, I just, what are you so afraid? Well, I know what you're so afraid of. And so will everybody soon. It'd be fun. So what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's so scary. It's like a movie. It would be uh, so funny if I was- talking about the wasn't... knife she has for you? I know you'll be scared of, and everyone else will know soon. It's called Mr. Smiley. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding when I say this is literally like, um, it literally feels like a movie where she is like getting to kill, ready to kill me because she like cannot stand that like, I don't know. I it's don't know. It's going to be a really good like true crime story. I hope I survive. I, if she stabs me, I just hope I if survive. If she kills you, do you think you'll do like Dateline or like a big time documentary? If she attempts to kill me because if I'm dead, I won't be doing anything. Yeah, if she's, if she, <laughs> yeah. Well, either way, do you think it's Dateline worthy, like 2020 worthy or like? 
real true crime shit. It's gonna be all over the news. I think it'll be like 2020. See, that's okay. But that's like a mid tier. I'm not. I'm not even being a little kidding. I like don't leave Moses aside. Like we go everywhere together. Because I'm I, kidding around, but I, I I I understand your concern. It's just crazy yeah. because it's crazy because she like thinks everything's like a coincidence. Like she'll do what I'm doing and like things. That, so it's, she's scary. Like so. Wait, what do you know? What she's so referring well, to here? I know what you're so, so there's afraid of. Behind her, so and I'm trying to read them. It says something about Amish, like Amish? Uh, Amish. Like you guys are talking about the Amish. She's like, bro, I have I have evidence that you don't like Amish people. <laughs> I, Fuck the Amish and their farms. Because I'm try, I'm trying to read like who's. <laughs> it's like, bro, have you seen the arm Amish and their wagons? The fucking Amish pieces of shit. <laughs> About Amish people, like, I don't know. I have no I just, idea what, what are you are. so afraid. Well, okay. I know what you're so afraid of. Oh, should I go back? Shows it a little bit. Yeah, there you can't. It just says dead ass Amish. Dead ass Amish. Or well, she wrote that because I don't say dead ass. Oh, so, so she said dead ass Amish. Maybe yeah. I'm saying something. You about said, Amish. oh my god, ha ha ha. They 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 lol. Even that's it. Because I, the only thing I can think of is in 2016, I was dating someone that was like from an Amish family or like so like a kind of Amish family. So maybe I was talking about that. Ooh, you said shit about the Amish. <laughs> but I don't even remember talking shit about Amish. I think I said, oh, they're Amish. And she goes, dead ass You're Amish. You're like, bro, have does. you seen how fast those motherfuckers can build a yarn? <laughs> but Little she's saying bags. like dead ass Amish. Meaning, like, are they really Amish or are you just saying they act like that? I think that's what I don't know. I have no idea. Mm. I'm just saying like I did. I probably have texted with her and she probably has text messages. But like. Oh, I don't know what she's exposing. I don't but know. like, also, just imagine being so obsessed with trying to prove someone's your friend. It's like, okay, they said you're not your friend. Like, chill. Oh my god. Right. Not, did you see that? Did you see the Peter Mons tech, uh, video about let's it? Let's show that. I did. It's really good. Oh my god. He and but what's so crazy? She's calling me mean and all these things. It's like, okay, then why do you want to be my friend or why do you want to prove this? Like, I just say I'm a nasty person and let it be. So this was one of my favorite moments of this recent Gabby uh, saga. So there's apparently she has a exclusive discord for members or some subscription model. Mm -hmm. And there was a group of people that joined and they wrote a review of her discord. They didn't like it, but they, it was basically just a review they wrote. And so she goes into their discord, not hers, and says, you need to contact your parents because I'm suing you if you publish that review. Anyways, I'll get in. For slander. So here we go. It's cr Yeah. This is pretty good. The interaction that happened between Gabby. Yo, I was trying to understand what's going on with his. Does he have a piercing or like discoloration on his beard? I was, I was like so tripped out. I was oh trying God. to figure it out. I think that's not the end of something. No, it's not a piercing. That's what's so. I mean, God bless. Ex patrons now. No, I'm not <laughs> talking trash. I was just genuinely I trying didn't to think figure it were. out. You know. Mm. Do you have any opinion on that, Dan? I mean, I really was like, what? I'm a little confused, too. I, yeah. I think it is a piercing, though. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the people get that right in the middle of the I upper lip. Mm -hmm. okay. Anyways, I'll get into the interaction that happened between... But why is it, like, brown? It's, like, dark brown under it. It also... Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It kind of looks like a piece of... T like, he blew his nose well, and he left he, a little but tissue maybe there. he has, like, a cleft or something. You shouldn't say Oh, okay, has, okay. I don't know. Okay, no, know. no, you're right, you're right. God bless him, you know? I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm just noticing something and trying to analyze it. But hey, this isn't about him. It's about Gabby. Anyways, I'll get into the interaction that happened between Gabby and some ex-patrons now. So Gabby starts off saying, hey, guys, I just wanted to give you a heads up about. I love the B-roll of her angrily <laughs> typing. It's so what funny. What is that from? Where is I, it? I don't know, but this guy's a legend for finding this footage. <laughs> the lawsuit. And this member of the Discord is obviously shocked. Then she follows up with, for those under 18, your parents will be contacted. Then this member of the Discord says, a person with a big ass following scaring kids. Really? It's not about scaring guys. It's slander. I know this is funny games for you, but it's my life. And again, she's you see how far she takes shit. It's like some kids didn't like your discord and you're trying to see, tell your parents I'm suing you. No, it's, it's so like, scary. Oh, oh my That's God. What I'm saying. This isn't trolling. This is now private off the Internet. Oh, yeah. Not getting like, this These is are kids. These are. Yeah. Just kids. Like something's really wrong. Who paid for your service and then they wrote a review. But anyway, oh my now God. you've published it publicly. She's referring to the Google Doc that was posted in her discord server. This is an online chat, honey. We know the law, ma'am. It's not slander <laughs> at all. If I have proof, all we did was explain explain our experience on a <laughs> private discord that hasn't been posted publicly on any other platform. Then Gabby says, if you publish to the internet, it's publishing. Then another member says, that Gabby angrily typing is the best meme of the year. <laughs> it's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We can't, so, after this, also, no steamy nomination for her either. We cannot mention her ever Most again. likely to assassinate Trisha Paytas. Stop! The winner is, and then we invite her up. And we give her a knife as a reward. Stop. We, I, that's why I bring security. I have security guards I'm that come kidding, with me everywhere. I'm I, not kidding. She I just will show fun. up. Yeah. Most likely to kill Trisha with this knife. 
so scary. She's going to sue you for slander. There's going to be a lawsuit. I know. She's going to come for me now. <laughs> I've already been sued once, honey. Get in line. <laughs> oh, my God. Get in line, bro. <laughs> like, you want people to think you're a good person, but then act like that. Then Gabby says, I'm not here to fight. I genuinely don't know where this is coming from or the issue. The bullying that has gone on towards myself and other patrons isn't right. We never said anything about <laughs> other patrons. All we did was share our experience. And yeah, that's true. I've read the Google Doc and it's pretty much just like a, a review, like it's a review that you could give any scary. other business. Then this member says, Gabby, most of these people You are... wake up out of a out of a wait, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> you wake up out of a out of a st st stupor. Your eyes come to. You look up. This is what you see. <gasps> like if she chloroformed me and I'm just yeah. like there on the floor. You wake up. You don't know where you are. Shit. You see Gabby angrily typing. Oh my but give god. Any you can't move. Your mouth is covered with duct tape. Oh my business. god. It's so scary. <laughs> like, I'm laughing because I'm trying not to be scared. Like, that's the only reason I can make it because I'm, I'm terrified. It is funny, though. No, I know. I mean, outside of it, but like, it's probably going to happen. And I just am like preparing myself for it. Let's keep you safe. Let's not give her any knives and any awards for most likely to kill Trisha. Thank you. Yeah. No we'll more pull mentions. That category. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. This member says, Gabby, most of these people are kids. Kids who felt you didn't hold up your end of the bargain with the Discord and didn't listen to their ideas. We are not bullying. I've only heard information and shared what I heard and chose to cancel my subscription. Amazing these kids are so much more mature than her. I know. They're, they're like, like so mature and like, yeah. <laughs> right. Just like, we just didn't like your subscription. Yeah. Like, sorry. We're just living our life. Literally a YouTuber with a million <laughs> plus followers scaring kids on Discord. It's not slander to share our personal experiences and pictures. It's called the First if Amendment. If so, drama channels <laughs> would be obsolete. True that. And Gabby says, at the end of the day, this is my server and I am the admin. If I don't implement every change people want, there's nothing wrong with that. I think she may have forgotten that she's actually not in her Discord server at the moment. She's it's not in her own Discord. Yeah. yeah. She's like, I this is my Discord. I am the admin. It's like, what? Like <laughs> yeah. that's again really scary. Like really It's not your server. You're just coming in here threatening kids thinking server. they should believe the threats. Then Gabby says, It's not a threat. Don't twist my words. I'm coming in as an adult giving you guys a heads up. It is a threat. A lawsuit is a threat. Telling them you're going to call their parents is a threat. These kids are on it, bro. So she literally anyway. she said after that, because I watched that full video, she said after that, she goes, what lawsuit? What are you guys talking about? Hi, everyone. Like, Ew, she bro, said that in the video as a continuation. And it's like, it's cr it's like, it's Hi, really, 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 really scary. So anyway, I want to give a shout out to this guy because uh, for that B-roll alone. <laughs> Sid, just CID. So if you can watch the whole video there by Sid, but That's shout out. Name. Good, good channel name. I think it's just hair, though. Yeah, I think it's grown weird. I think oh, it's like okay. a scar or something there. Maybe. Okay, shout out to Sid, though. We love him. <laughs> Sid, reach out and send us that B-roll. <laughs> oh! We need that. No! Uh, yeah! We cannot use we it any the B-roll! We'll, we'll use it on, on Off the Rail Not on something. this show. Oh, no! Not, not on this no! Show. No, no, no she, nowhere? She, she tweeted you being like a fan, being wanting to be on the show and stuff. So you're giving her that attention. No. Don't even do it off the wheels. And, okay, all right. All right never, never, never mind, Sid. Oh, look, you're ruining her career again. I think I could tell my this friend, is, let's not talk about Gabby. This is a huge opportunity for Gabby to be featured in Angry B-Roll. <laughs> I'll straight up tell everybody, don't talk about Gabby if he's into her narcissism. Like, don't talk about her, everybody. I'll say, I've said it in videos, I'll say it again, don't ever talk about Gabby. I'll say it, she's, she's not right. We're breaking well. your rules right now. But you know what I mean? Like, she's unwell and people talking about her is literally just like pushing her to continue this behavior. Like, it's just not, it's not, she's thinking like she's, oh, she's in control. I'm this master troll. It's like, no, you're, you're a serious, like sick individual like it's really scary this was another one this is my final piece on her um are these my colleagues or this is her live on a scale oh, wait, 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 from whoa, 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 whoa. well i know what gabby hannah tiktok live getting she got banned during this one do you hate who it's a i've lot. become because i hate who i've become no i know what this is though this is trolling is this whole thing? She copies whatever. my format to the extreme because now that she had this manic episode and she had a breakdown, she's trying to like, I used to do that shit all the time in 2017. Like, you know, you just like are trying to like distract people. Like, look, I'm trolling. I'm in control. But she's not like that was obviously a troll. She's obviously off her manic episode, but she's still not like, well, she's just trying to pe make people be like, covered up. Crazy. Yeah, because she wants to be, as Peter Mon said, the villain and the victim. And she's like, she goes, oh, yeah, I'm always the victim, but also like I'm in control. I love being hated. I love Freddie Mercury was also judged. And so I'm like him. Like, she's just so like delusions, like of grandier so that that was a troll but you want to talk so anyway that 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 wraps up our whole thing on gabby Anna. i mean there's just so much more about her yeah, but yeah. like i honestly think 
Anything else you want to add before we? I I I will say it to you. I'll say to everyone like to not mention her. Like this this person is like sick, like a sick sick person. Well, this and is it's, like, the only it. time I've mentioned. No, I agree, so. and because and I I agree to do it because it was about this Buzzfeed article that I was like I trusted like this author that wrote an article about me, and I thought Buzzfeed. I guess Buzzfeed has a bad reputation already, which I didn't know. Everyone's like they're kind of trash anyways. I guess they steal content from people and stuff. So I they, they like have they've always had a really trash reputation, and then they started writing like real articles. Oh, Ian's over there secretly eating pizza. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Domino's arrived. Bring that shit over here. <laughs> um, I didn't Just know that. I would have said but no. But then they, like, I don't know. I They, like, keep flip-flopping. But, yeah, they have a really trashy reputation. Yeah. And I had, I had no idea. They, they, a few years ago, opened a a news division that's sort of separate from their, like, clickbait articles and stuff. Right. And we're trying to get a more legit reputation. But, um... I don't think it was very successful, and it seems like they've slid back into just kind of... Uh, Clickbaity bullshit. Yeah. It's really... Really bad. And I just, I just, I don't want any association. I'll say it again. BuzzFeed, I want no association. Please don't promote my article. That author is trash. Like, she did zero research. Like, she, her writing skills are her. I should have done more research. I shouldn't have done it. I will take the photos, though. There, I had a really good, fo- her name was Rosette Rago. She, uh, she photographs. She photographs photos? She photographs for New York Times. And I was like, oh, she was like, I just do these randomly. And she's so good. She photographed, like, Natalie Portman. I'll take the photos. I have some behind the scenes. I'll take the photos, but not the article. You can bring, <laughs> yeah. You can bring them here. Thank is you. Is there phone numbers on You guys it? get slices? Put the phone numbers this way so you can't see it. So yeah. you guys know about my pizza thing? People judge me for. Oh, my pizza. I didn't. I opened yours. Damn. Mm. People judge me. For what do you mean your pizza thing? The fact. Oh, yeah. That what's your pizza thing? Is the pizza thing that if somebody mentions pizza around you, you Have flip out it. until you get some pizza? That is a pizza thing. But <laughs> no, I got black olives, pineapple, and jalapeno, and it's insane. So good. I like all those ingre- ingredients, but together, it's just weird. Try it. I don't know. I have. I've tried it. You don't like it? No. It's not good. I feel like we're like, because Ela's pregnant, like we're all eating like we're pregnant. That's what I said. <laughs> we I'm all like, do sympathy eating with her. <laughs> She's not here, but like here's to you. That's why I need to start exercising more because I'm going to get massive. Oh, yeah. You want to do advice column? Sure. Yeah. Wait, do we not want to talk about Drake Bell or Logan Paul? Drake Bell literally got arrested How for- How much do we have down? Uh, about 40 minutes. Yeah, what was the deal with Drake Ball? He, I, I didn't Drake Bell. <laughs> Drake Bell. <laughs> Those are different people. <laughs> Logan Paul. <laughs> what happened with Drake Bell? He got arrested, I guess. Um, For child endangerment, but what did he do? Child endangerment was one thing. I don't I don't really understand that one completely, but there was another charge he got, and it was basically just him being inappropriate, like saying inappropriate messages with a 15-year-old back in like 2017. Oh, he was Jamie Emming? Same thing, James Charles. Like, Why no, did James Charles arrest? Oh my God. How does Jake Bell get arrested for one incident, but there's been multiple ones where James Charles admits- Well, well hold on. He got arrested now? for DMs back when? In 2017. So that's what I'm saying. It takes time. Right. That That is These true. Investigations and it was Ohio. Time. Ohio has different laws. So I guess like Ohio is like a little bit different. But like it's insane to me that James Charles is just like celebrating birthdays. It and could like, happen that, that just in a year or two the police right. come knocking. It's well you know and I hope like there are certain people that like should get canceled forever and like James Charles is one of those people. Drake Bell doesn't surprise me though. Right, I guess he moved to Mexico and became Drink Capania and doing Spanish music Capania? or something. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch the Capania. <laughs> so, isn't that crazy though? From 2017. But I mean, that's good. I'm glad that they're able to do that from like after mm-hmm. a long time because so many people will be like, why aren't you saying anything sooner or whatever? But the girl was like 15 at the time. You know, what was she going to like say? Well, you know, these cops like to um, make sure that their arrests and convictions hold. So they take the time to get the yeah. all the evidence they need. I thought that was so crazy. I was just like, oh, how come more people aren't talking about that? I guess because he's just not popular like James Charles or whatever. You but. wanted to talk about the fight? Yeah, did you watch it? Mm-hmm. I didn't watch it. All I, I just wanted to talk about it because I was, I don't know, because it's trending. <laughs> I don't know what's happening in it. I watched the whole thing. Was it good? Paid for it too. Maybe we should box. You brought up boxing earlier. Maybe we should box. You know what? Hmm. I'm a proud supporter of Showtime. <laughs> they are amazing. <clears throat> I spent $50. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> On that show proudly. Oh my God, are you okay? Drink I some just, water. It's spicy. <laughs> I'm a proud supporter of Showtime, and I'll tell you why. What a great show. What a great experience it was to watch Showtime Sports. Is this I, a sponsor? No, they're just not Triller. Triller is awful. Like, compared to, because Triller put on the Jake Paul fight, those are the guys that are suing me. Oh, uh, is that still happening or no? It's done. Oh, they're still suing me, yeah. Mm. And so um, their event was just horrible. Like, just such regret watching that. At least the Showtime one, they put on like a real event where the undercards were interesting fights, were good fights, experienced boxers. Because Triller was like trying so hard. They got brought out like all these popular performers and stuff. 
spent like a fortune, which is why they're going to be going out of business <laughs> pretty soon. But um, it was just a horrible event. Your just lawsuit so will get not dropped. Worth. If they do bankruptcy, oh, yeah. they'll get dropped. Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying. I don't know what's going to come first, their defeat <laughs> in court or their bankruptcy. I it's mean, a toss-up. But anyway, wow. it was just there. The Triller boxing event was just so horrible. It's no, it's no surprise that Jake Paul left Triller and joined Showtime. And I think Jake Paul left Triller. Yeah. What? Yeah, That's he left him. Triller because he realized they're just a. It's just a horrible train wreck. It's like oh. Titanic. And um, Jason Nash is still there. Well, exactly. It's the <laughs> Titanic, and it's sinking with him. And um, you know. And it's not, and I think he did the right thing because the Showtime really puts on a good experience, a good fight, and it's definitely worth the fifty dollars. It was a great experience, unlike Triller, a horrible experience, terrible fight, terrible company. But no, I watched the whole fight, and I will say, um, you like it? I I do not understand, but like, I guess what is the entertainment value in it? I can see wrestling because there's like a show, there's characters, they're in costume. Is boxing like a show? He came out to Greatest Showman. Everyone's like, I think of Trisha Paytas when I think of this song, the From mm-hmm. Now On. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. It's a um, trend. I th- obviously the boxing match itself was such a ridiculous mitch- mismatch. I mean, Floyd is forty four; he's like five eight. Okay, oh. and then Logan is like what twenty five; he's six two. So when they were in the ring together, the the actual weight class is insane. Like these people should never, in any reasonable world, fight. So the fact that Floyd didn't knock out Logan or anything doesn't surprise me because he's just. He's not known for being a striker, but he he fought well and 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 Logan was able to go the distance. So uh, there was one clip where people saying uh, Floyd knocked him out momentarily and and then he held Logan up so he didn't fall. To Is the that ground. why they? Okay, so I just saw the jokes about hugging. They hug because someone's almost about to faint or something, so they're holding. No, him Logan up. kept hugging him because he was exhausted. Oh, and, is that why to break? Yeah. Oh, I love that. I'm going to start using that when I'm like winded tomorrow when we do our vlog. I'm going to hold on to Moses. I'm like, I'm going to give you a hug. Yeah, that's what they do. That's And so Mayweather was getting annoyed, though. He's like, get the F off me, dude. Oh, he's like, you're a little baby bitch. Basically, yeah. I mean, that's what I would think he's saying. I'm not saying that about Logan. He's not baby bitch. Obviously, um, Floyd kicked his ass in terms of like the boxing experience. Like the stats of amount of punches hit and accuracy was insane. But, like, when you watch it, I guess, what's the entertainment? Like, when someone hits someone, you're like, whoa. Or, like, what's the exciting part of it? Like, it's the hitting or it's the what? Well, it's a game of strategy. I mean, it's not just about knocking them out. It's about landing punches. It's about dodging punches. So, it's a sport. Hmm. It's just watching two athletes compete. Did you see that Floyd Mayweather was sponsored by Fashion Nova <laughs> on his trunks? <laughs> oh, wait. Nova he Men. Was, he was wearing an OnlyFans hat. <laughs> really? Yeah. All the sponsors. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, his trunks and Nova Men on it. So Fashion Nova's men division was sponsoring. He, got, he'll, he works for anyone. That guy's just there to make that money. That made me think, though, I need to ask for more money because Fashion Nova would be lowballing me. But if you're sponsoring Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I sell more clothes than Floyd Mayweather. You know what I mean? Probably. When it comes to Fashion Nova, I should probably get a little more. And you more. know that Mayweather don't wear no Fashion Nova. <laughs> no, he's got his Rolex. They're like, yeah. I do wear Fashion Nova. Like, I'm not it's not sponsored, but I do wear it every day. Like, I love Fashion Nova. But okay, can you stop talking about all your sponsors? <laughs> talked about them in a long time but well i so, thought it was good so you want to give advice while we eat pizza yeah can i say one more thing did you ever see broke back mountain i watched that last night i actually never watched it but i know the plot oh did it break your heart oh my god it Those was like cowboys just wanted to be they just wanted love to be love love is love but it wasn't even that like the one like could not be with him because he's like because it takes place like the 60s 70s and 80s it's like through the era and stuff like that it's i, I can't spoil it can i because it's like 2004 but it is like you can spoil it Oh my God! Yeah. So, well, basically, like they they do fall in love with each other. They're both married to women. This takes place in the sixties or whatever. And then Jake Chillenhall gets like beat in the face to death for being gay in Texas. And then the wife, played by Anne Hathaway, like I think she was in on it at the end because she calls. Not much change since then in Texas. I don't do. I know, but that's what I'm saying. That's what's so okay. I'm not trying to get all like heat about this, but there's still people are still like that. Like trans people are getting beat in their face to death. Like so over that shit. And so like watching it, I was just like, holy shit! And like Heath Ledger, Jake Gyllenhaal said Heath Ledger refused to make like gay jokes about it, like during the Oscars and. I don't know. Was I just, there, is there a third pizza? You're so not good about this. Okay, I, let's go I do just your stupid. Make sure that I don't got like pizza. this segment. Just for the record, fan advice is a stupid segment. Why? We can do it. It's so dumb. What's the point? Uh, to give advice to our fans. But that's not the like. Oh, no, it's that. That's like when people run out of ideas and they start doing Q and A's. Like Tyler, we ran ideas. So it's like we're gonna do Q and A's now because we have nothing else to talk about. Okay, go ahead. It's such a dumb segment. It's so not. It's, it's like fun. we have well, nothing sometimes, to fill the time. 
Okay, well, what, you want to talk more about the uh-uh. what, Brokeback Mountain, a movie from fucking like it's 10 just, years ago? It's like a lazy podcast. Like, we're going to play games on the, like, you know. A lazy podcast. You don't do anything for it. You just show up. We do all the work. Oh, my God. Yeah, right. How am I wrong? With what? I always contribute. You never have, like, first of all, when you were doing all the podcasts, it was like Keemstar, Jake Paul, like, and everyone's like, we're so sick of hearing about this because it's everything. Like, I saw on this, you had stuff from last H3. You just recycle H3 content on Frenemies. You're like, oh, we're going to do Trisha through the history meme or whatever. And like, you already did that on the last episode. And I saw I, it on here. I didn't bring it up. I didn't say it. But the fact that it's already on there, like, I, I had to bring up all these other topics because I'm like, I don't want to go to that because you brought it up last week. Let's see. We put together this Gabby Hanna segment. I mean, I could have, I, I, I literally, again, could have done that for my head. I always chime in with my topics. Like, I always do because, like, I try and okay, steer it. Okay, what did you different... bring on the Logan Paul fight? I brought it up, first of all, because it's it up? trending. You're like, I don't even know what to say about it. You know, I don't even know why people watch. I costume. never pick the costumes. I never do the vlogs. I give so many ideas. I say dancing for the vlogs. I give all these ideas, and you don't. It's just What's wrong with that advice? For you. I don't think it's a good segment. The people want to hear from us. Okay. Do it. <laughs> okay. Telling you my opinion, and all the vlogs we've done, I've, well, I've suggested other vlogs, and like that never does. I well, if you don't like things. it, then we shouldn't do it. Okay. Since this is a show about me and you. No, but you're saying I do all the work, but I'm telling you I don't like all the stuff you do. I'm just kind of go with it because I'm like, okay, I guess this is what you want to do, but I have to start saying no because some things are just not good ideas. Hmm. I like it for the record. Okay. <laughs> okay. Some of you got really interesting questions. They're not the home. Hmm. Brutal. Brutal. I just don't like when we spend like, well, whatever. <laughs> Go ahead, say it. There's a good creep. But you're that. asking like, we do all the work. It's like, we spent one friend of me's rehashing all the stuff you said about Keemstar and H3 Live, which was two days prior. Okay, it it's happened like, one time. No, it's happened before where you just like bring up stuff that you already mentioned like, and it's fine. But Why are you attacking me? You asked me, you said, tell me, and I'm telling you, like, all your, just because you guys come I up said, with what? everything doesn't mean it's good. It's recycled, a lot of it. So, it's like, I can come up with Not new ideas. Not a lot of it. A lot of it. No. Mm-hmm. If you have ideas, I'm all ears. I watch H3 Live, and we talk about the same thing, and I'm happy to talk about it's it. It's not always like that. It's happened before. I agree. It happened last time. That's all. It's happened a lot. <laughs> it didn't happen last time, did it? The title was, like, Pregnancy Announcement, which is, I'm happy to talk about the pregnancy. We but talked it, a lot about the pregnancy here. But it wasn't the pregnancy announcement H3 Live was. It's your guys' thing, which I'm happy to talk about. I'm happy for you guys. But to say, like, oh, we don't recycle things, it's like, you know, you do. And it's fine. But I don't make it the same title because it's not an announcement. We're talking about your I wouldn't pregnancy. say recycling. It's a different conversation. The original one was Trisha's going to, like, something in Aunt. It didn't have to be about me. But I'm just saying, like, the fact that it's a pregnancy announcement, again, when it's not a pregnancy announcement because I'm not pregnant. You know what I mean? We're talking about your oh, guys' pregnancy. It was an announcement. You announced on H3 Live. Oh, you thought that it would, people would think it was about you of being pregnant? Of course it was, because you are, unless you're just recycling the same title you did for H3 Live, which is, it's not, it's just like, I watch H3 Live, I don't want to talk about it on front of me. It's like, if we're being honest, well, you we know. Well, we were going to talk about Ela being pregnant, obviously. Of course. Yeah. But the title has to be Pregnancy Announcement. I don't see why that's a problem. Because you did that on Friday. You're just recycling titles. It's not an announcement. You weren't announcing it. Okay, so Ela's pregnant, and I'm talking about it with Trisha. Would you prefer that? Anything to be more creative. It's like the fact that you just talk about what you talked about the week the week prior is like, and I've seen other people call it out. It's not just me. Like, I mean, people have called it out before. Like, the whole came starts. I didn't even, like, didn't know. It was like the 30 minutes was exactly the 30 minutes you did on H3 Live. Mm. Yeah, I agree. That part was That's crazy. <laughs> Sometimes I forget what I've talked about, honestly. But you're saying you have all this crew that does all this work for you, and nobody could remember that you talked about that two days prior? I agree. Somebody should have said something. <laughs> I got. I was like, guys, why don't you tell me when I'm talking about the same shit over and over? Because I tell to them, I go, yo, make sure to include this. And they go, oh, okay. But I go, oh, shit, I talked about the same thing. Hmm. But I feel like you're so angry about this. I'm literally not, but it's so funny. Are. I'm not. I'm angry when you don't, say something. You need to admit when you're angry. Ethan, I promise you, this is this is really is gaslighting. I go to a lot of therapy right now, and this really is. When I say I'm not angry, I'm not. I'm like just trying to tell you that you're like, oh, we do everything for the show, and I'm like saying it's not always good. I'm not angry. If I was angry, I would like leave or something, but I'm not. But you tell but you're me upset I'm angry or something. You're not I'm upset. Not. Or angry. Okay, okay. All right. But it is it is like frustrating when you think you do all this work and like think, oh, we're doing all this great stuff, and it's like. It's not that great sometimes. A lot of it is, and I like appreciate all the work you do and stuff like that. But it's also like not that great. I don't get input on like people we hire, like all this stuff like that. I don't get people I don't, we hire. Why would I ask you about people I hire? Because it's frenemies, and you take the budget for paying the crew. That's what you told me. You take highlights. You take five percent to pay the crew. No, so you, why don't I get any input on my, the crew or what we these do? These are employees of our of our. So why are you taking company? highlights and five percent of frenemies? You told me that it was to pay them that it's they could be working for production costs. 
Okay, but you told me it's for at the production beginning, costs. You told me at the beginning it's like they could be working on other things. So I, I made that argument too. I'm like, well, they're already age three. Oh, they could be working on other things. So I'm like, okay, in that it's case, it's for production costs. I take five. You, I take five percent extra from the podcast revenue, mm -hmm. and I take the highlights revenue, and everything else we split. Right. So for production costs. Yeah. But again, you were about to move us all to downtown LA, and I was just like, "But the production cost should be included." Yeah. Like, we it, you were going to share the cameras because Dan said, "Oh, we have to get new computers and new cameras." Well, I'm like, "Front of and me I has the budget." And I obliged you. I said, "Okay, fine." But you fought because, me on it because we having we bought a studio downtown that that was always the plan. By the way, that we were going to move downtown, and then all of a sudden, I was For like, H3, "Yo," I and I was no like, "Yo, we're to moving." It. I told you ahead of time, but it's fine because I, you didn't tell me downtown we're LA. We're still at my house now, but I said, "Okay." So I was like, "Yo," by the way, we moved into our new office. We're going to be there next week. It's good. And then you're like, oh, I don't want to go down there. And I'll, but we had made all these plans to move the set and everything and to do everything. So you're like, I don't want to go down there. And then we talked about it for a little bit. And I said, OK, fine. And so we had to buy. But that was the first time we ever spent money on production costs. It's not about that, dude. It's literally about we are producing the show and I'm taking a cut. I feel like that's beyond reasonable. All the Beyond highlights. reasonable. 5%. Yes. 5%. Do you realize how much 5% was of our last one? That should be enough. But also like highlights. And then you weren't the membership I had to fight for because you weren't. You know, oh, I forgot to tell you about the members. Like I giving you 50% of all the members, even though we work and do all the work. I don't know why you fight me on money. The deal you have is I'm beyond not, reasonable. Okay. No, but I feel like a lot of frustration you have about everything <laughs> with the frustrated i when i'm bringing stuff up you get defensive i'm not frustrated i'm pointing out these things because i would like to know i just want everything to be a lot more transparent because i'm like everything, what are the production I can't costs be more transparent you, can you show you. me all the costs of production it's that you not like an itemized thing we are doing the show that's the cost so you don't think five percent is like enough of for the five percent and the highlights was what we agreed to at the beginning and that's what it is oh my god okay if you think that's what it's worth okay it's worth more than that to be all honest right with you. You're getting a very generous deal. And the sponsors that we do, we can, that we work to get, mm -hmm. right? We do all the work to bring the sponsors. I mean, I had 50%. all of Adam and Eve for the first like 20 shows. So, I mean, don't say, I, I appreciate what you do, but don't act like I don't bring it. I brought Yeah, you all brought Adam and Eve. And so that was one sponsor we worked with. That's all we awesome. had for the first like. And now we have a tons of sponsors every episode because it takes time, you know, obviously to get the show up and pitching. And you get 50% of all of that. I feel like the deal you get is super okay. fair. And I feel like you're gaslighting me, to be honest, saying that you're not like frustrated about it. But that. I'm not. Because it really I'm... is a source of like every time something comes up where it's like, I hired somebody or this, that, and like, oh, you don't do that much on the show. I'm bringing attention it's to it. I'm not upset. Always, I would text you. I would tell you if I was. It always comes down to, oh, you, well, you get this extra 5%. And so. Because I, you're saying, it's not why fair. should I get an input on the employees? That's what you said. And <laughs> you brought up to me they that. They don't just work on frenemies. They're my employees. Okay. But when I asked, when I said that to you originally, you said, oh, we pay the employees. They could be working on other things. So why don't we have frenemies employees and I get input if we're spending 5% of the budget towards them? I think that's that's not what it is. That's if what I you said, said. So then that that's. But, I don't okay, remember, say, but that's. Gaslighting not what is it telling is. someone how they feel, and you're telling me how I feel, and I'm telling you I don't feel frustrated or upset. So I don't know what what else that could be. How am I gaslighting you by telling you I'm not feeling this way? How is that gaslighting you? I'm not feeling this way. Okay. I wouldn't show up. I wouldn't come here. I would, you know, I. You listen. You can be upset and not, but I'm not. be because there's a but you could be upset and then also not be like, I'm not showing up. Fuck you. I'm like not there's upset. levels. If okay. I was upset, I well, wouldn't show explaining. up. I'm just explaining. I'm just because you can be upset and still show but up. But I'm not upset, point. and that's okay. what gaslighting right. is because you're okay. saying I'm gaslighting I'm you gaslighting by saying you. you're not upset. You're perfectly. Oh, wow. You're in a perfect condition right now. Okay. Wow. Holy cow. That's crazy. I mean, I don't know how you. I just don't see what you just did. That's that's really. What crazy. did I do? I need we. I we have to end it now. Like really. <laughs> what did I do? We gotta stop for real. Really. We okay. Need to stop. <laughs> please, please. Okay. Whenever you're ready, you All can right. walk away. So. No, because I don't want to title this. It's Trisha. the pizza curse. So, can we just? Like, I'm not going to title it, it's Trisha. Not. All right. thing. It's the pizza curse. It is. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have got pizza. The pizza. Oh no, it was pizza. Mm -hmm. Trisha, Trisha, let me just say the I'm fact, sorry. Ethan, that you just did that. You're right. You're well, right. Nothing's wrong said. with you. That's, but I go, you don't know how much therapy I go to a week. I go to four but Zoom Trisha, sessions a week. No, I understand. Ethan, but, okay. even what you right. just said.
said was, you're right, Trisha. Everything's fine. That's insane. Like, the fact that you did that to me is, like, it's insane. It's not insane. We're friends. That was We're so having nice. a friendly conversation. <laughs> I don't have to. I shouldn't have to walk on eggshells around everything okay. I say. All right, Ethan, we I'm have asking a, to end this. I'm asking you. You can please. leave any time, Trisha. But then you're making this thing where we're not ending the show, and you get to sit here and be like, "Okay, well, that just happened," and you're eating pizza, and then I will end the show the minute you walk. All right, off the so frame. let's just let's just end it, please. Thank you guys for watching, and I just I don't want it to be a thing where you're just sitting here eating pizza I, and you become okay. a meme. So then I'll say I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, I don't want to get an argument over. I really like, need your to most, leave. Okay. All right, we're done. Thank okay. you guys. Thank you.